come here to destinations near his coverage of the pool down here in PJs. Kia McMahon just breaks off now. So uh, nothing down. Mickey, this is going to be a cracker match here. This, should be, this should be. Yeah, this back. should be a good game. All right, yeah. Kieran McMahon, one of the hot favourites to win it tonight. Here he goes. And Kieran is probably break him up here. A little spin off there. Oh. That could be an in and off. Very yeah. unusual for that. There was no comment here, of course. Maybe for two the first shots, time. Two shots for Kieran Hannah. Now. Let's see what happens. And of course, maybe we've been talking about Kieran <coughs> Hannah this this last while on on the, the Saturday sports. Yeah, show. unfortunately for me, he beat me two one. Yeah, I was just going to say that maybe you, you tried to hack him out. It didn't I happen. think he got he, he got very lucky, you know. <laughs> well, who's your money on this one here, Mickey? On well, this one here, definitely. My money would be on Kieran McMahon. So Kieran Hannah will be taking the shot here. He'd probably go for the one down the bottom. Right, two shots. He's open table here at the minute. Now he can still take reds if he likes, but I'd say he'd probably take yellows. Mickey, you're going to have to explain the rules to the people out here because I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, two shots carry. There was an open table. He went in off the seat in, yeah. right? So when, when you go in off, it's an open table. Okay, so he's going now for he's going for yellow anyway. Maybe not such a good shot. He spun back well, into the pack. He, he, he's still on for the one. In the middle, and he can still go for the one down at the bottom. He's, he's going to, be, but he's going to be bridging over the ball. Yeah, making probably a, a he's well. He's going to go for the one in the bottom right here. But he, he looks around. But maybe it's great here that this this near he's covering the pool here because it's very another very good. I never, I, I never thought you were coming. <laughs> but as a first here as well, Kieran. He's it's very good actually. Yeah. He's actually looking for a position off the shot, which would be important. I'm making there's four, there's four, there's three other games going on. At there's the way. three other games going on at the minute now. There's uh, Brian McGill on table two and Declan McMahon. And on table three, there is Tristan Bourne and Declan McConville. And on table four, at the minute, there's Kieran Morgan and Cahill. Feeling. Feeling. That's a great shot. Absolutely brilliant shot. Well, that would be Very the good shot. That's a good shot. Right so far. He said two shots, yes. But brilliant shot. Mickey, there's no doubt. I was watching the guys here earlier on, and every one of them was dead serious, and they were taking it very, very serious here yeah. this evening. They all want to win. There's, a, there's, a, there's three on the pound to pick up tonight. But it's not the money. It's not the money. It's not the money. It's, it's the pride. It's, it's the glory. And he's still, he's still got two shots. Mickey, it's not crack. Well, I think if I was Karen here, I'd be putting a little bit of left hand bottom on it to try and break these two up that's what he'll be doing off this yellow here so he'll be going to pop the ball in the middle, the middle ball spin ball off it and come and try and split them up and that's correct yeah and that's what he's looking at mickey so he's taking along and of course mickey there's isn't there a, a minute rule or something in the minute pool, rule, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, minute yeah, rule minute, yeah the minute to take your shot yeah the referee will call it 30 seconds <coughs> And the referee for that match is who's refereeing that match? Oh, oh, this is well, he's a wee bit lucky. The ball didn't he fall yeah, Kennedy from I, actu I actually think he's snuggered at the minute. Well, he might be able to get the, the loose, the loose yellow just between the middle. No, he's banging the, the table going round there. He's, uh, I think he's snuggered. I can tell he by looking at his body language, he's snuggered. And he, he wouldn't be happy with that uh, call, I'm lucky. And he's having a good long look around the table. I could just mention here on table four, Cahill Feelings on the black now. This might be the first game that's finished. Cahill could be winning his match yes. on the brush. And people watch Poole know the brush is that's potting all your balls, getting the black and leaving the opponent with uh, seven. He just, he just the first winner of the night goes to Cahill Feelings. It's, 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 not, it's not over yet, it was the best no, of three, Damien. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Got it yeah. <coughs> and now here we have the maestro coming to the table. Let's see what happens. You sort of tip this man to win this. I, I do tip him to win the whole competition outright. Well, Maggie, I'm going. I'm going to put one thing here. I'm going to ask you later on. Can you name your top ten pool players ever to come out of Europe? Well, ever? Yes, but well, now, I just want you to Oh no, no, no! I'm not going to name them now. No, no. I, I, oh yeah, I'd have to think about that. I wouldn't have to think about it for too long now because I'm fairly around a long time. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> unfortunately for you. <laughs> well, I think you're longer here than me, but uh, now we have to. There we go. See, he's broke them balls up. And they're all sitting nice, well. Well, I wouldn't say they're sitting nice, but this man's a genius. 
He's having a he's talking the queue here. He's having a good look around the table now. Ken Hannah sits down, Ken sort of maybe resigned. But he must be able to get through the black, past the black there, maybe without any bother. It looks like it, yeah. A wee bit of curl in that. He's, he's played a great shot there. Kieran Hannah's going, not unless he can get through that gap there, Damien, you with me? Well, between the to two the yellow, yeah, but he's not going too far, it'd be a hard shot. It would be a very hard shot down to the bottom, but if he does get that down to the bottom, the game could be over. But if he misses here, I think Mr McMahon will wipe it out. He's going for the long pot. So it's going to be, these are pressure shots, Mickey, every time. Every time, he's going for the long pot, definitely. And he has to bridge over the, the, the ball that's in the corner pocket. That's a tough one too, Mickey. So this will be a tough shot. Oh, that's a well super, super we didn't, we didn't, absolutely we didn't super shot. The game could be, if he puts, if this comes out right, game's over. Well, he'll go for the one in the cover in the middle. Yeah, and he's done and out. And he's done over for this one here and black. Where's he going for? He'll have to screw back he'll for have the to black. Screw back for the black to go up in the corner here beside us, close to the, the bottom of the screen. But he definitely has to go for. It or else he can stun up the table and put the black in the middle. That was a very good shot, I must say. Back here, we didn't see that one coming. Maybe that was, <coughs> that was most definitely not. Never seen that shot coming at all. Super. super I, th I actually thought he was going to the bottom bag with it. So Kieran Hanna could be in the driving seat here. For now, he's anyway. Well, look, he's got, he looks now. He's yeah, but he's, got, he's definitely going to go for the middle, Damien. I, I, I would have thought so. He needs just to stun, yeah, off, is, yeah. stun off the middle yeah. and just sit halfway between the yellow and the black. No, he's, he's not stunning. He's just coming right up. Yeah, that's a fair enough good shot. It, it's a cracking shot because no. I tell you why well, well, that's a cracking shot. He just slices this in and he comes straight off the cushion and he comes right behind the black. <coughs> he needs to be pulling the, the white ball just about a little bit off. No, he's not gonna. He's gonna roll. He's gonna come off the cushion. Yeah, but he needs to be bringing the black, the white ball, just slightly past the black spot. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. And he's thinking hard about this one here. So I know we're talking very low here, folks. Yeah. But there's four or five games going on around us here, and we don't want to be annoying the other players. So uh, it's not often Mickey. We, we go quiet here. Not, but not, not this low. <laughs> well, well, Kieran Hanna. Takes a long, long look and he goes and well, yeah, not a good shot. Didn't, didn't no, work for him. Work. You see what I meant? If he had to come out, yeah, on the other side of the back. I, I think that's what back. he was trying to do. He'll have to come off the cushion here, Mickey. The top cushion. To me, to me he's going nowhere here now. At the minute. All the hard work and just one bad shot. No, it wasn't a bad shot. No, no a bad a position and more position, position Mickey, and that's what it's about. Yeah. And it's not the shot, it's the, it's the next shot that's always important. Yeah. <coughs> and we just see now Tony, 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 Tony Bagnell has arrived as well. Tony will be, he will be up doing the try on Saturday. He has his camera out. Yeah, it's so here, 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 here goes the shot, Mickey. And I'll tell you what, Mickey, if that goes in. That was nearly a cracking shot. Maybe he just had a too high. Oh, oh, and he took he t he took McMahon's hardest red out. And he probably would have been better just leaving the black down the bottom end of the table. And we have the oh. news there, Damien, is one each on table three at the moment. We're between Tristan Byrne and Declan McConville. It's one each at the minute. Okay, Mickey, these games are going down to the wire. That's a snooker there, anyway. But he'd probably come across this way. And I see the referee in this game is Cal McCoy, I think, is it? That's the referee, yeah. He's looking as a touching ball, is it? Making. Could that be touch? Could that be touching ball there, Mickey? Yeah, it could be. So the referee has a time clock, and he's looking at it. He's asking, "Is it touching ball?" No, I think he's asking, "Can he get through to see it?" 
Whereas if he plays, if he plays across the table and he can see it, it's a deliberate foul if he misses, you understand? He can see that ball. He has to hit it. But if he plays across the table and misses it, so. And what happens in that case, Mickey? Two shots. Two shots. Okay, and the two shots follow. So. They're, they're taking a good look at it. That's probably what it is. It must be able to see. Can he see the black? Without well, playing it deliberately. I suppose from the angle that we have here, Mickey, it's hard to <coughs> determine that, but it's a... It's, it's very hard for us to see from here, yes. It's going to be a tight one. And the referee, he's he's taking a long look at it and he's made the call on it. So we'll see, will Hannah go through the gap or will he go across? Yeah, that's what I can hear, Cal. With deliberate, because he obviously can see it. So, Tristan Bourne just won on table three, uh, two one that, and he got the ball back and he put oh, it off. Oh, he's off. We couldn't see. He's well, what he done was there. Yeah. He, he, he definitely got a good a good head on the black, but he spun off the black and went into the middle. In the so middle bag. Unfortunately for him, this probably will be a clear up now. But as I said there, sorry, Damien, for interrupting you there. Uh, Tristan Bourne just won two one there at, on table three. He beat Declan Mc McConville. So. Oh no, this could be a clear up. You still have two shots, Damien. in. You could be right here, Maggie. The, the ball is sitting yeah. nice now, so. That's good part in there. Oh. Well, he'll roll, he'll roll the... the yeah, he'll go for this one, yeah. He'll roll it in. they push the other one through. Put this one in the middle. Oh, we oh, oh, missed that well. one. Well... And he's a good angle to go come off the top cushion here. Great no, shot. A good spin. So, put a plenty of left side. He's, still, he's going for game, I Well, he definitely rolled. We'd like him to miss them shots, you know. And the position on the black's going to be good, important here, Mickey. There's no doubt about that. He just he, he only has one shot at it, so he's going to take a good look at this now. And I suppose if the white ball slips back roughly in round where it is now, that will be good, a handy yeah, enough shot be, on yeah. the black. I'd say be closer to it. Yes, I told you. Well, no, dear man, that's perfection for you. What do you think of that shot? That was super shot, and now the black is only a matter of rolling it in, so you would expect him to, he, he to, just stun this in. to slip that one in, and no mistake. And he, as you said, Mickey. Absolutely great finish. You know, Brilliant. super finish there. So, in the t in table one, in the table beside us here, uh, Cal uh, Phelan's under a wee bit of pressure in the second match here. Is Cal on the black there on this game, Wonder? No, I think Cal's on the yellow. On Cal and Wonder. Cahal has six yellows. I think I know you can't see it, folks, but it was a great putt there from Cahal Phelan. I don't know if he was in the game. Is the second game? This is the second game. Yeah, won, shot, yeah, yeah. won the first game. So the referee will rack the balls for the second game. And of course you're very welcome to our live coverage here of the individual pool. Up here in TJ's. There's only one game going on at the moment and it's not on our screen so we await the, the referee to sit and rack the balls. So the referee has set the balls down and resets the clock. It's a 20 minute and you have one minute to take the shot. Well, the black almost went in there, so they're well spread.
And of course, you're very welcome to Destination Newry's live coverage of the pool here in TJ's this evening. And there's the first ball in. Hannah's going to be under a little pressure. The yellows are well spread around the table. Well, Mickey, the second game has commenced here. and Yes, I can see it's commenced there. My favourite man's in the full <laughs> position here. I think it's all over, actually. Well, he's very, he's a very com competent player here, and he's very easy on his shot. Is this from the break? Uh, yeah. Again, nice positioning. And Mickey, you might be right. This game could be all over here. So, McMahon is definitely playing great pool here. Cahill feeling is now down to one yellow, and then on the black. So, if Cahill feeling wins this one. Uh, he'll be in the next round. McMahon, if he also wins this, Mickey, he will be in the next round. It looks like this game could be all over here. Well, well, it's quite a tricky shot, but he probably just rolled it in. All over. Brush. Brush for Kieran Hanna. And uh, that's an amazing... Absolutely. A man is... A, he's brilliant. Look at that for a breaking finish. Absolutely superb. Mickey, he just made that, he missed, but Kieran Brown made that very, very easy. And Cal Finn has just won 2-2-2. 2-0 that was. 2-0. So. And how's the other game going over there? And it's on table 2, it's 1-0 to Declan McMahon against Brian McGill at the minute. Okay, we've been told, Mickey, we need to keep the mics right close up to the, up to the yeah, it's just that yeah. we don't want to be putting all the players off here. We're just right beside one of the tables. But we'll try our best, Mickey. We'll try our best. And there's now we have uh, Mike Nugent playing. Uh oh, no. I can't think of his name. Hold on. Well, Mickey. Feenan. Well, uh, that's, a famous, that's a famous name from out Brian White Cross Direction. So, Louis McNally, he's getting the photographs taken, and he's getting the photographs taken. So there's the cup sitting on the table there, Mickey, as we look around, but... Uh, we have the owner of uh, TGS here now, does he want to come in and give us a, an interview? He says he's too busy, he says he would only, he's too busy. Well, Jim says he's too busy, but uh, he... <laughs> we'll get him in later on. <laughs> he says he has to go and get you a pint, Mickey. <laughs> so the cup was on the... There's the photographer. That looks like Tony Bagnell over there. Well, I think I think he's what he's there, doing he's here... He, he's actually taking photographs of all the lads. Of all the lads. So to see who... Well, yeah. So then... But well, he'll not be taking me, because as, as we know, Ken had a... Well, be a <laughs> you see, Tony then will scoot off somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So that's what he's doing. He's giving well, a couple. It's a great setup tonight, uh, Damien, isn't it? Oh, it is. First I mean time ever, like, and the commentary on the on the yeah, matches. Yeah, well, I don't I know. It's absolutely. I, I never, <laughs> I never thought I'd ever see this. <laughs> well, you know, if you remember 1986 on the black ball fight, uh, could we get? Oh, look at this. The actually red and black. Actually, the Damien, black and white I here. I think here, correct, I think that was 85. 85. Well, I was only a year out, Mickey. I remember it well. I think it was about 17 million people watching. He's, he's taking photographs now. Cahill Phelan, Ian McMahon. See, this is the trick. This is the trick from the for, from the photographers, Mickey. Uh, oh, I know. I, I understand what they're doing. They're, they're, they want to take a photo, and then when I put in the cards tomorrow night, uh, they'll say they'll know who to put uh, on the, the back page. Yeah. So there's Cal McCoy. Now he's coming over, Mickey, and he's he says, "Do you want to do this one?" So. Mickey switched off, but I'm switched on here, so uh, we're still waiting now on the second game. The destination Yuri are sponsoring this, actually. Well, there we have it. Uh, of course, our live coverage of the Yuri Pool League, sponsored by Destination Yuri, covered by Destination Yuri here this evening. 
and uh, well done to Sean and Arn in the background for getting everything sorted out here, Mickey. A lot of work's yes, going on and, behind and, the and scenes. And McCoy, the, the governor of uh, Destiny's Newry, who yeah. participates in the Newry Pool League yeah. and has sponsored this event. Yes, and uh, of course, Mickey, as you said, for the first time in the history, I think the history of the pool here in Newry. And, and I, when I think back to, to all the great pool halls and pool bars in the town, you know, I think the last time I was up here was when it was called, uh, <laughs> gosh, JP's or something. <laughs> That's a long time ago. So I remember, Mickey, uh, we we're above what used to be the, the old the Bitten Bridal. The Bitten Bridal. Yes. And I remember, I remember well, yeah. Mickey, I remember in them times, it was the only pub uh, in the town where you could have got some food late in the evening. Yes, that's correct. And yes. Brian, Brian. Brian McGovern was the barman, lovely yeah, gentleman. And these had a little carry out at the front on the, uh, on the front. And the wee hats, remember the little hats? Yeah. Yes, indeed I do. You can come in the front door, you go in the bar, or if you go into the carry out. And it was luxurious as it was. There's Louis McNally. Louis didn't take a photograph of us, Louis. You've got to take a photograph of us because we're, we're live. This is live here, Louis. This is live. Oh, yes. Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> yes, and we have to say well done to Louis. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, Louis, come on. We're, we're live here on the Destination Yuri's Pool League. Pool league coverage here this evening, where we, we were talking about the reporter next week. Well, we were talking, Mickey, there about the, the old bit and bridle. The old and, bit and uh, bridle it it brings great memories because I remember we used to go there and we used to get some a wee bite of food and then we would go to the Procule Hall. Chicken and chips. Yes, and we used to go. And to I'll never forget the bag. It used to be white on the outside with the bit and bridle, red writing on it, and tin foil on the inside. It was the best bag in the town, believe it or not, because it kept the food warm. Yeah. But I, I also remember, Mickey, then, we went to the Procule Hall, the dance in yes, the Procule Hall. Well, yeah. so, uh, you must be around the same. You must be a bit older than me, are you? Well, Mickey, in them days, here's a good one, Mickey. I don't drink, but a pint was 30p. You could have got three pints, a pack of crisps, and have 2p change out of a pound. Well, unfortunately, I can remember that as well, do you So if, if, uh, if, if anybody remembers them days, let us know. Great, great. Apparently, Carl McCoy still thinks it's 30p a pint. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another game going on in front of us here, Mike Is there? It's a uh, young Mike Feenan Feenan from White Cross, Cross and Mike Nugent. Mike Nugent is a cracking player in terms of PGFB. Well, of course, Feenan is another great. Actually, actually he's going to finish here now. He's, he's on the yellow and then black. Yeah. Well, he just put that in. He's off screen here, yeah. folks. So sorry about this, folks, but he's going to put the black. Yes, yeah, part of great, great part. So that's a super one. Nil. So Phoenix behind one nil. So the referee has come back. So the second game on our uh, special table tonight will be commencing very very shortly. Substance, look like liquid gold. Well, the balls are racked and the game is about to commence. Mickey, you're calling this one. John Little. Little. Alright, so Mickey, you've called John Little on this one, so. There's a, is that a time clock ready to go there? Yeah. I, heard, I heard something beeping there in the background. So we'll get shown out tonight, too, I must say, Damien, for the, uh, the Pooders, Harvey Lavelle, and one of the favourites. So who have you on here now, Mickey? John Little. John Little and John McGee. John McGee, that would be Kevin's brother. That's Kevin Brody taking a shot now at the minute. And he potted, so... Yeah, he's quite a good player. He's quite, he's quite a steady player, you know. So, b both steady players. And Tony's still taking photographs of... Tony's still running around the club. Harvey. Look, he's trying to get Harvey. We want to get Harvey in. Do yeah. you, I, I want to talk to Harvey he's about his deliberate foul stroke the other night, Mickey. Uh, I know it's within the rules. I know it's within the rules, but uh, I, I would say, I would say, Mickey... To me, it's one of them rules that I don't like. You know? rules that it's do like, it? well, the deliberate, deliberate foul. Deliberate is foul is no, it's never any good. Harvey played one the other night. It was terrible. It's it's like it's like the the deliberate foul in football. The black card was introduced. Do you have any black? Do you have any black cards in this one, Mickey? <laughs> you only get a red card here. I see uh, Sean Sean McGuinness from Carroll Cropping has come yeah, in. Yeah, he's a, he, he's a great supporter of the pool. Again, McGee McGee's going well. On the, the red. John Little. Yeah, so McGee and Little. And 
we have all the Newry Pool players here tonight. It's quite a so big turnout tonight for the, the last 16. Bridging over the top of the red here, Mickey, trying to get it oh, in. And that's, shot, that's a super shot. Of course, there's a couple of games going on right oh Yes, table here. two now is still, uh, it's uh, gone down, it's one each now at the minute. Brian McGill and Declan McMahon. So we're back to our main table here, Mickey, and a lovely, there's another game going on, just been called by the referee. But Mickey, later on, we'll try and get a hold of uh, Harvey Lavelle. Harvey will get Harvey in, yeah, for a wee chat. He, he's not playing there, no, he's watching. Is he playing or is he he's watching? He's on next, I think. Oh, well, actually, Harvey's on now. Harvey Lavelle, the, the, the man from High Street in Bestbrook. Actually, I, I'm going to stick my neck out tonight. I'd say if Harvey avoids Kieran McMahon tonight, I would say McMahon, be McMahon and, and Lavelle, Lavelle final. Yeah. And it was if, if they avoid each other in the, in the next round. So the draws haven't been made for the next round. All names in the hat, Mickey. All the names in the hat. When there's eight left, we're going to do the draw. Well, maybe we'll do it live. We'll do it live. We'll do it on the table. Yeah, yeah we'll do it on the table. <coughs> pull, the, pull the names out of the cup. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it live. That ball didn't go in there, Mickey, so... No, it's still looking good for... Uh, <coughs> that red will go in there anyway, if he could get potted down this one here. Oh, no, he's, no, he's going, he's going, yeah. Mickey. Is that Mickey or Little? I can't that's John Little. It. John Little, that's a good shot. Good shot, there. good shot. Oh, game could be over here. Oh, sorry, he's one down. Yeah, the he's one on the long. Along that, the, as they were saying, snooker, the ball, caution. Or, or as me and you would say, Mickey, the top one. Uh, or the bottom yeah, one. Yeah, me, you, me and you would say a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be patting it. We wouldn't be patting it, no. <coughs> but there's definitely a, a great atmosphere here in TJ's tonight. Mm -hmm. And there's a big, big crowd here. There's so crowd here tonight for all the pool. It's good to see. It's a good shot, Mickey. He'll have to go for the one along the bottom cushion now. The on the bottom rail. Yeah. As I said, yeah, fancy John Little to win this game, actually. That's a very long game, the first, the second table, actually. It's very, very long. John Little steady up there to take this shot. Great oh, shot. Well oh, hard luck, hard it didn't luck. go in, and that could mm, have been the game over there, if it had been in. That would have been game over. But now McGee has to... What has he got to do here, Mickey? Will he, will he slice the, the one well, into the middle? He slices one into the middle, and he, 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 he put a, a little bit of... Uh, Right hand side on it to come up this side of the black and three and the three down here, one, two, three ball blood. Mickey, you make it sound very easy. Yeah, well, that's well, it's very easy sitting there. See, that's the shot. And he just let it bounce off the cushion. Yeah, but he's back too out. Hard. No, that's that's that's, that's not a perfect, path. yeah. So, the, the, you see, the, the jaw of the pocket there stopped the white rolling right back yeah. down. So, it's a little triple thing. Little here. Triple, three, three, three. Bish bosh bang, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, little, little, just a little dink in. There's a the first one in. Oh, oh not too bad, not too okay, bad. Yeah, spin back out. Game over, game over. Yeah, yeah and John McGee just, oh uh, yes, good position. Well, he will probably finish this one. He 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 roll this one in the top. Bag came in and he put the black in the middle. That's my prediction. Uh, black in the f yeah. In the he's taking. He's taking. He's taking yeah. a good look and he's studying himself. Yeah, that's a shot. See, black in the far middle. Yeah. And he goes to the, the middle. Leg. Yeah. <coughs> and it looks like at this stage, folks, it's one nil to John McGee. Well, it's not over yet, Mickey, until the black ball sinks. But uh, it's a straight. It's a straight shot. So I've seen the mist. And that's straight and out. He didn't, miss that, he didn't one. miss that one. So McGee takes the first, yeah, the first one, the, the first McGee. one up. And this other one, McGee ended up on one. So Feenan is still. Oh, and, and table four at the minute now. It's uh, Mike Nugent and Michael Feenan one one at the moment. And it could be an upset for the books here. It looks like uh, Brian McGill is gonna go for the finish on table two to beat Darren McMahon. Oh, he didn't get up far enough for it.
Welcome to our live coverage of uh, the Destination Near East Pool competition. We're going out live around the world, coast to coast, pole to pole. Bouncing off satellites, bouncing oh, off. that's a great shot there. Everything oh. here this evening, bouncing off pool tables and everything, Mickey. So, your prediction over yeah, the far side of the game is going on. over there was that, that man just missed the game against Harvey Lavelle. Dermot Lonigan, he just missed the yellow there for the sweeper. He only missed it by a millimetre. He's given Harvey two shots, but Harvey's in trouble there. <laughs> Harvey has one, two, seven. Seven balls. Nearly getting, nearly getting a brush there, Mickey. So... And this is one of the, the rules that I find a bit a bit strange. What rules are they mean? So when you if you have two shots, Mickey, you can pop the other person's ball. Yeah, it's, it means an open table, two shots yeah. to carry them. So Mickey, before this game starts, a wee quick a wee quick synopsis of the rules. So if you, there's twenty minute of game, a minute of shot, the referee can call it. He calls thirty seconds and he gives you another thirty seconds to take a shot. If you don't take a shot by then it's two shots. And if you go in off the white, it's two shots. And if you uh, play it deliberate, it's two shots. And if you miss the ball, it's two shots. Well, this could be a finish here. Harvey's on. Harvey's I think he's had Harvey's still on two shots here. But yeah. here, Mickey, this game's about to commence here now. So it's on McGee, game. yeah. I'm trying to watch. The, I'm trying to watch them all. Well. <coughs> Here my man's collecting bottles and glasses now at the minute. All habits stay hard. Has to be done too. But Harvey now, he has four balls to go down. Yeah. And that's off screen here, but in this one... All the food's going very fast, I mean, oh my God. Well, I'm glad the lads behind us here will be delighted to hear that because they, we don't want to be here to there. We don't want to be here to the early hours, Mickey, of the morning. So you're very, very oh, welcome. There's a shot there at table two, uh, Brian. Uh, not, yeah, Brian McGill would just beat uh, Declan McMahon from the Bosco, one of the, no, from TJSA, sorry, one of the top players in Europe. He just beat him. Brian McGill from the fourth division beat the first division player there on table two. Well, that just shows you. Him two one, yeah. Just shows you in the uh, well championship pool, yeah. anything is possible. That was that was fourth division pool versus first fourth division. division. Yeah, and TJ's won the first division. Well, there we have it. So. John Little still in here, look. That's no, off. Missed, yeah. That was too straight. So Harvey is uh, he still he's two balls to go down over from the other table here, but there's lots of pool going on around us here. Yeah. Mickey and of course you're very, very welcome to uh, live pool. Thank you very much, Damien. Live pool and Mickey Cunningham, the legendary uh, special one. The legendary. Mickey Cunningham uh, who has been involved in pool uh, well, he remembers the bit and bridle back in the day, so uh, he's about a fair while. And uh, Mickey, when we were talking about that, it was bringing back great memories and, and great characters in the town. Oh, and this, character, Mickey, that yeah. was in the time then, you know, things weren't good about here and there was nothing no, happening. No, things weren't good at all. You know, so... Uh, but it was a great era for pool, Damien, and darts, actually. Yeah. It was absolutely brilliant. It was the only outlet, Mickey, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And Harvey... Oh, does Harvey have two shots or one shot? Oh. I'm not sure, but that, that's maybe not a good no, kick from there. So he put that, he put that. But back to our, our live game here on screen. That Harvey was an absolute yeah. super finish there by Harvey Lavelle. Great finish. I think he potted eight ball, nine balls. I'm going to stick my neck out here. I think if, if they avoid each other, it would be Harvey Lavelle and... Uh, Kieran McMahon. Yeah, because as you know, Harvey won the first division individuals. Well, there was oh, a that was a bad miss by John McGee there. The ball sort of rocketed in the corners of the pocket. It's... So... 2-1 to Nugent. And Mike Nugent just won two on there on table four. There's a super strike there. That was an absolutely brilliant shot there. From, the middle, from the middle pocket all the way down to the bottom pocket. Great shot that was. Well, you're very, very welcome to our live coverage of live action pool here in TJ's courtesy of Destination Yuri, who indeed have sponsored this. So, uh, Mickey, uh, it was great to be part of the first ever live Absolutely brilliant. competition. It's a great setup here, yeah. And we'll be able to watch it over and over and over and over. Especially the final. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And the, the way things are going, it'll, it'll happen very quickly. 
Well, it's going very fast. I think we might have to cut it down to two tables. Well, we, 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 we await. And we will do the draw, Damien. That's a good idea. We do it live on, the, on that table there. We throw the names out. Put the names uh, into the hat and we draw them out live, yeah. Again, a wee bit of pressure there, Mickey, and uh, a bit heavy on the red. Trying to put it into the top pocket here, and it didn't happen. Didn't happen, but it's early stages yet, Damien. John Little, if he puts this one here, he just might break up his yellow. No, he, he tried to do that. Well, oh, he broke it up on the way down. That's a good shot, but I don't know if he'll, get, he'll be able to slice it in. I don't think so, Mickey, so... Well, he's having a good look at it here, so he's thinking, can I... He's having a strong, strong look. He's having a good look, yeah. He probably slices this one in the middle. I don't know if he can get past the black here, but he oh, looks he as if he can. Uh, yeah, he come round. He come off the two cushions. One, two, top cushion, round for the. Oh, well, didn't go the way to the plant, didn't he? he missed the pot as well. Well, McGee is now going to be taking a shot, so he has five balls to try and put down. And there's plenty of games going on around us here. As we look out, we wait to see what's happening here. So McGee's having a long, long look at the table. McGee is, uh, I don't think he's going to put much of here, Damien, actually, to be quite honest with you. Well, he could maybe put... Not as he can put one, one, he one could put, he could bottom, put, yeah. He could put this one into the middle, possibly. No, that's a quite difficult shot. If he's going to go for that one, I'd say he'd go to the bottom bag. Well, he could go, yeah, he could put it down to the bottom. And if he could put that in, that would give him a shot then back down at the bulk end. But we'll, we'll wait and see what he does. He's walking around and probably the referee will be telling him your time is rolling past a minute very quickly well, he's about to take the shot Mickey does he go to the bottom oh yeah, I think he's going to he's going to the middle oh and, he didn't did oh and he's part of John Little's so two shots now for Little and Little will probably be in the driving seat here Mickey It's going to be quite a difficult shot, Damien, now to get back up the table for that uh, last yellow of his, which is up here. Yeah. Well, Tony Bagnell is in looking to get a picture of young Feenan. <laughs> See, Steve Maloney, he, he, he's a Democrat. Democrat. Yeah, Steve, Steve, uh, he, 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 he's a white cross man, born and bred, yeah, and he yeah, wants... We have his first cousin here, Gavin Malone. Gavin, there we have it, so... Uh, uh, John Little, as I told you, Damien, you wouldn't get up the table for that yellow. But he, he hit, hit that, that one too hard, yes. So, he's going to let John McGee in here, I think. That was a wee bit heavy on the yellow, Mickey. <laughs> so, Tony, Tony Bagnall... He's going to take a photograph of us for the Democrat. Well, Tony doesn't realise this is going out live, but he, he's away. He's not taking it, Mickey, so we'll have to chat. Okay, he'll come back. He'll come back to me. He'll come back. And, of course, you're very welcome to Live Pool here on Destination Yuri on a Thursday night. First time ever, Live Pool brought to you courtesy of Destination Yuri. And I'll tell you what, he went oh for that. He, 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 he went for that. I didn't see that, but he went Full for that. Full on, so he did. But in, in, in fair play, for going for it, because he's left... Absolutely nothing. He's a diff difficult shot for John McGee. Well, I suppose, th well, John has two shots here. John he probably rolled he in the, the first red, he, yeah. could, he could go for there, or else he could go for the one on the right pocket, but you reckon he just rolled in behind it? No, he's going to go, he's, I think he'd go for the middle. Yeah, he did, yeah. Great shot. Didn't go in, Mickey. They're, 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 they're not dropping, as they say, towards the, the, the corners here. So this leaves Little. And could Little go for the slice to the bottom left, Mickey? What do you reckon? He probably will go there. You know? Bottom left, yeah. <coughs> so Little steadies himself. And he went for the other side, he eh? went for the opposite side. Very unusual, that. He's well, all right now because his yellow's up beside the black. Well, that'll leave McGee. McGee will definitely have a, a pot in the middle for sure. He's going to be trying to slice that into the middle, Mickey, by the looks of it. Yeah, he's going to in the middle. But again, the angle. Oh, he's missed his shot completely. 
Yeah. So this leaves little in. Little could maybe go to put this yellow down in. Could he come off the cushion here, Mickey, and go uh, for the uh, middle? Uh, well Possible. Uh, the shot there to play is to go for the middle to kiss it in off his red. Play the middle by off his red. Oh, he played the complete opposite. What a great shot. It's gone. That's a super shot, Mickey. Mickey, I, <laughs> <took the bucket. laughs> that is Mickey, I, I wait on your expertise there, but I think that well sort I of I got the two of us. I didn't see that coming. I, I would have been playing it for the middle bag in off this one here. Yeah, know? that's what that's what I would have been doing. That's probably the reason why we're sitting here, yeah, Mickey, talking about it. Yeah, talking about it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> as Kieran Hannah would be glad to tell you if we <laughs> get him over here. He beat me the other night two one. So the the John Little. John Little and John McGee is one each. So it's uh, gone down to the decider there, so well done to the two lads. And Harvey and Dermot Lanigan is still there. Uh, one nil to Harvey at the minute. So Lanigan has seven balls and Harvey Lavelle has one. Well, it's six now. Does he have one or two shots? I'm not too sure. We're not sure how many shots he has now. One shot, one shot. A good strike through the ball. That's one off. Oh, that's behind us here. That's not on our our star table here this evening, Mickey. The the, the table here. Unfortunately, yeah, table one, yeah. So when we do the live draw now, we'll uh, get. Uh, so that's coming up once this game here is over. Once this game and table two is over, yeah. Well, we await that. So you're very, very welcome. It'll be coming up now in about fifteen or twenty minutes. You're very welcome to our live coverage here this evening on Destination Newry, where Destination Newry breaking new ground once more. Taking live pool all around the, the 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 town this evening, Mickey, to satellite to satellite for all our people away from home. Uh, if you want a little feel of uh, how things are going on in Ryan Newry, check out our pool coverage here this evening on Destination Newry. And of course, a good crowd has gathered here in TJ's. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's a great turnout for pool tonight, uh, Damien. And Mickey, for for those that maybe doesn't know where TJ's are or is located, it would be above what we would have known as the old bit and bridle. Yeah. So uh, a very long established uh, institution here in Uri. I have fond memories of uh, those days. Curtain Mickey. in here, Damien, have you? Well, no, it was the only place, and Mickey. T -G -T, what was it called then, TJ's? Or no, it was called. Oh, you're thinking of JP's. JP's. No, uh, you know, but I'm thinking even going further back than that, Mickey, I'm going back to the old bit and bridle where it was the only, I think it was the only establishment in the town uh, that uh, gave late food and chicken and chips was, yeah, uh, chips was, was, the, was the... Top of the menu. Yeah, top of the menu. Great memories. But we await now, Mickey, the other game over there. Harvey has just went in off now. He's given Dermot Lonigan two shots here now. This will be interesting. Uh, Damien, to see. Will he finish? And Harvey takes his pool very, very seriously. I want yeah. we, want, we want to try and get a talk to him uh, about his game the other night, Mickey. I, I've heard a lot about the deliberate the deliberate foul. And uh, w Mickey, can we explain what the deliberate foul is in, in the pool? The deliberate foul is if, 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 if you can see a ball and you miss it. Yeah. If you see a ball and you miss it, it's a deliberate foul stroke. And if you deliberately fail to hit a ball, it's a deliberate foul stroke. And two shots carry. But the, your opponent, a lot of people don't know this, your opponent can... Uh, re-rack. Two shots or have a re-rack. And that's what Harvey was uh, banking on, was it? Harvey was probably banking on that, yeah. Well, there we have it. So, uh, strange rules of pool, but we await now the deciding game on our start table here this evening on Destination Uri's Live Pool, sponsored by Destination Uri. Mickey, the big one, the individual, and of course the winner gets 300. 300 pound, and the runner-up gets 150 pound plus the, de the, the winner gets 300 pound plus the Destination Uri trophy. And uh, the winner gets £150 plus the destination Yuri runner up trophy. So, uh, uh, the, the probably the, mo the money is great, but probably the accolade of being it's the, it's the. It's the winning. That's the what it is. Yeah, the winning, the winning, being number one. Yeah, being number one. That's, that's, I don't think the money would come into it. It's just. When you win it, it's great. I remember, Mickey, when we talked uh, on the Saturday sports show about uh, who was going to win, you had me convinced that you were probably going to win it. Damien, I had my chance. 30 years ago. <laughs> I can't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could get a pair of glasses like well, uh, Dennis Taylor. Glasses, yeah. You know, the big one, you know, the, the upside down yeah, ones. The upside down ones. What about an upside down pool table? Well, that's probably the way I'd be playing, Mickey. That's probably a super strike. That's a super shot, that's that's a super shot off the table there. So I think he's still two shots. Uh, 
a little flick of the finger, Mickey, and uh, is it going in off? No. Yeah. Super yeah, strike. One each, Harvey and Dermot Lonigan now. So it goes to the deciding frame in that one. It's great to see Lukey feeling here this evening. Another. Lukey here with the family. Yeah, supporting him. Su yeah, support Cal. And so here we go on the live game now, Damien again. John Little's breaking off. This will be a well. This will be a big break, will it? Yeah. Well, the yellow goes in anyway. So. Again, Mickey, uh, but he can take reds here, Damien. But which is, is it an advantage breaking? Or are you better oh coming well in the second? Well, if you, well, well, it can be an advantage or a disadvantage. Because if you put the white, it's a disadvantage. And if you put a couple of yellows or a couple of reds, it's an advantage. But was, I think he'd take reds here, will he? Will, yeah. No. Well, he went for the yellows. Uh, he went for oh, the east him, yeah. So not Good a bad shot, shot, John. Good shot. And, of course, the, the balls, all the yellows on one side of the table and all the reds on the yeah. other side. And I hear... Uh, I'd just like to say hello to Maureen. Maureen, are you listening? <laughs> well, Maureen's listening. She's just have to text me. Yeah, you sound like Dennis Taylor and Ken Doherty. Mickey, we've just got a text in here, and we want to know, is it true that you're now painting uh, driveways? Yeah, that must be. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mention it. <laughs> Mickey, you'd paint anything if you're getting paid for it, isn't that right? <laughs> you're dead right, David. I know exactly who that came from. I don't have to ask. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know. Yeah, but here, there's, there's a text that's come in there, look. I can't really see it there. What does it say, Mickey? It says, yeah, you sound like Dennis Taylor and Ken Doherty. Oh, there we go. Well, here, Mickey, I'll tell you what. Bad, yeah. We're not doing too we're bad. We're taking notice on Well, I can tell you, when, when you hear... When you hear they're listening, they're viewing. Th yeah, when you hear people mentioning names like that, and uh, it's not Mickey and Damien, well, it's yeah, Ken and Dennis. The viewing fingers will be up tonight, won't they? Oh, we'll there's no on. doubt. <laughs> there's no doubt about that. And, uh, of course, uh, our star table here, Mickey, the, the, the yellow's all on one side, basically, and the red's on the other. Yeah, so very unusual. I'm just looking at that. It's a very unusual situation to have all the red's on one side and all the yellow's on the other side. Normally, they're spread all over the table. And, of course, Mickey, the, 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 the concentration level on the players is phenomenal. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's <laughs> you, you can nearly feel it here as we're sitting here. How are we getting on here now, yeah. Harvey and Dermot? Well, Harvey Lavelle is on the table, so... Marty Lavelle, I was talking to Marty the other day, and he had, I think he had himself. Marty was on the other night, he was here with me the other night, he was uh, playing Cattle Field, and Cattle Field played very well. I think Marty had himself, I think Marty had himself back, I think he had himself back to win it there, so uh, he didn't do it. He played a couple of suicide shots. So coming up and slipping in behind the black, and the referee just... Which is Cahill McCoy. Anybody know him, do they? Well, he got in a route there, but uh, well, not a bad gets shot. He's in the way of the camera. He's telling everybody tonight not to get in the way of the camera. But again... I'll have to have words with him. I know there's somebody at home laughing at the minute as we speak. Well, again, you're very welcome to our live coverage. Yuri. Yeah, our pool coverage here, sponsored by Destination Yuri, brought to you by Destination Yuri. And... Uh, McGee... Now, McGee should be able to slip this one in behind... Off the yellow, McGee, and in... Well, he didn't put it no, in, but he, 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 he put a good keeper. Yeah, he put a good keeper. Balance. He's gonna drag it out. He put a good keeper. And when I speak about goalkeepers, no. uh, Harvey Lavelle. Now Harvey. Harvey's down here for the middle shot. <laughs> so be over here. So Harvey Lavelle is looking good on that side over there, but a long way to go. And in our start he's game, I think he's going for a game here, is he? McGee One and table Little three here. Well, <laughs> there's a when we look over Mickey, he, he has a fair bit of pattern to do to, to win that game. But as we look here at our start game, Mickey, we, we, there's a little close-up, and there's a super shot, but again, the ball just didn't drop. But no harm done. No harm done. No, John's coming in now. No, he, he, that'll be a hard shot in the middle now. He'll not go for that one now. He just, he probably just roll it and try and snooker in behind here somewhere. I don't know yet. And Harvey's still on here for a finish here, Damien. Well, we'll have table. a close-up, Mickey, of, of this one here. Oh, looking yeah, now, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Quick snooker. camera shot here by the boys. And yeah, I told you he'd go for the snooker, but he didn't. He hit it too much, too wide. I think, Mickey, I, 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 always believe, I always believe that you should go for it if you have the chance. But uh, That's what Harvey's doing here now. He's going Harvey's going for it, and he's having a long, long look yeah, at the ball. Oh, you can put that one, Mickey. I, I, I could put that one. It's just a little bit of no, Damien, right curve on the ball. Mickey. There's, there's, no, there's a good pot here on this one. Their start game. We're looking at two or three games, folks, as the games go on. Ryan is here trying to call them, but uh, 
Harvey he's decided to go for the other one Mickey so he's long he's overstretching that could be a, a hard shot for Harvey Lavelle he's off but of course it's easy when you look at it but it looks like game over here we go and then there's Cal McKay's big head on the road so yeah I wouldn't mind he told everybody to keep away from the camera tonight no, <laughs> well it's, it's, it's his it's head in the way he has to he has to watch the game has anybody got his number that they could ring him and tell him well I think Sean's going over to tell him to keep to keep the head out of the, <laughs> the shot. <laughs> you know. So uh, I think word has gone out there that word has uh, gone out, yeah. That his head's too big. So little here, Mickey. That's a good shot, and he still has a pot on in the top right hand hand pocket here. Yeah, you go ahead, Damon. You carry on there because I'm just watching. You, you watch how you Harvey is going on here. There. See how it goes. So Little takes a shot and comes in nicely. Again, as I say, it's not about the shot you've took, it's about the shot that you're about to take, and that's what these guys be looking at here. No. Harvey played a very bad Harvey shot. He, there. He, looked he, over, he, he looked over to the there and rolled the ice. Sniggered, he sniggered. And Dermot Lonigan has seven balls on the table, and it looks like uh, if he messes up here, Dermot Lonigan could finish because every ball's open. <laughs> Well, as we look here, Little goes round the table a couple of times looking to see what ball he'll go for. But the one I think he'll have to take here is the one to the right-hand top pocket. As you look at your screen here, the one to the right-hand side. And that's the one he's going for. He has to bridge over the black. This is a tough shot here for Little. And a good shot. It, yeah, yeah a good in shot. the middle now. Comes right here, you go in the middle. So Harvey, there's only 20 seconds to take the shot over there. He's under Harvey's pressure. Harvey's his head here. Yeah, well... He's not in good form now after that shot. So Little has another chance here to put one in this near pocket. Steadies himself and just comes in off the red. Harvey's just got rid of the snigger there, but... I'm sure Dermot Lonigan will put a couple here and uh, tuck them up nice and tight. Well, as we look at our start game here... There's more pool players coming in to spectate. Well, there's a there's a there's a great there's Joshua a great. Hagen there and Jeremy Bergen's brother just come into the fold there. But Mickey, there's a great atmosphere here. Yeah. You know, it's it's it's. There's a bunch of lads here tonight playing pool, isn't there? Oh, it's fabulous. And Mickey you know, here, he's going for the long putt. I tell him it'll tuck him up here somewhere. Well, that's that's not really a that's a poor enough shot there. Pretty you missed sure, that yeah. one. A wee bit of pressure on that one, Mickey. You know that. He would have been hoping maybe just to roll that ball in and then he, he, he could have been on for the ones in the yellow here in the, the middle pocket. John McGee is still six balls on the table. Yeah. This game's dragging out now, isn't it? Uh, well there's only one there's only one chance. One ball that's clear to the one in the middle if he can get the, if he can get the angle off this one to clip it in. Okay, I'm not sure yeah. how far it's off the pocket. Let's maybe get a close up of this one here from Sean. There we go, Mickey. There's a good close-up there. No, he he had, well, he, he'll have to do a little bit of spin on it. Weep. And that's what he's done. That's uh, a good shot, super good shot, strike. Good shot. But now his two balls are sitting. They're still difficult enough, Mickey, to, to, uh, uh, no. to pot. And I see... Uh, I'm just looking at this other game, Damien. I see Dermot Lonigan still on here. He's so still well. putting balls. And Harvey wasn't happy with the shot that he took, but, Mickey, we have... Uh, it never works out the way it's... Pans out. Well, I suppose that's the way it happens. Just roll this in, Damien. If he rolls this in, it's in the middle. It could be all over. Well, yeah. that's a super strike. And just a little stun back. But the balls are very like close together here. The referee's going over to have a look at them here. And he's going to be he's making... No, he's going to have the yellow for it. Uh, uh, any any of you people that are viewing in now and listening, that's Cal McCoy is refereeing. Ryan. And he's holding the, the time watch yeah. as well, Mickey. 20 minutes is the, the time for the game and one minute per shot I don't know does that include the referee as well looking at this sh shot as well there's a little yeah. snooker Damn coming in there and just snookered uh, Harvey Lavelle here so I tell you what Mickey even being a referee in these games there's a lot of pressure on oh people a lot of pressure on the referee yeah so we look at this here we'll get a maybe a closer up of this one if we can get a close up that's a good shot so little now has the black ball, well Mickey. Well, that wasn't a great, the, the best shot ever. He should have been getting position. He should have been screwing back for that black. Could he try and double kiss it across into this pocket here, at the top oh corner, our left pocket, or will he go for safety? Oh god! Another 
before we get out of the stick of there, he was very un, very fortunate now not to go in off there. So uh, unless it was away. No, no, not a bad shot. But I, I sort of called that, Mickey. He's trying to get in the other side of the, the red and come in and not touch the red. But the black ball is trying to keep it in off the, red, yeah. the black ball is in play. So for the game, yeah. you look away that one, keep me posting that one and I'll keep everybody informed at home of what's happening here. A great crowd has gathered here in TJ's this evening for a cracking game yeah, of pool uh, all round. Brett Neely just come in there now, the local painter and decorator. Anybody on his number? There's another snooker over at the oh, Harvey, Harvey Lavelle, Lavelle, table. Lavelle table. So McGee is under a little bit of pressure here to try and and Kevin would tell he us how. A few balls, Kevin would tell us how good. A, that's not a bad no, shot there. But that's not a great shot. I think he's, I left, think them he's left them on. He left them on surely. But he left them the, the best shot possible. Yeah, well, he, he come through the two the two reds and the only shot there. There's only one shot there. Is, is the way he hits it, it'll it'll go right into the bag. So little for the the winning shot. I told you. And oh, he's in off. Oh, in off. So maybe that's him out. That's him out. Unbelievable. And that was the only shot he couldn't... He, as I told you, I mean, he left the ball there. The only shot... Should he hit the black and go down? All he had to do was just tip it in. And I would say John Little would be kicking yeah. himself with that finish there, Mickey, because he, he went in off the black and he's scratching his head and going, how did, how did that happen? So uh, a little bit of luck there for McGee and John Little. And here we have Dermot landing and playing hard. So Dermot has two shots in the middle. We'll, we'll describe it, looks like, it looks like Dermot's going to win this game, actually. We will describe... Oh, sorry, he's only one shot left. We'll describe this game off camera here. We wait on the, the, the other games to commence and finish. But Harvey Lavelle is one red and Lanigan has two yellows. And a black. And the black, so... He has to take this yellow. He has to yeah. go for it here. And he takes his time and that's a super strike. That's a super strike. And now he's going to roll that yellow down the bottom bag. Yeah, but he needs to come out for the black. Yeah, Mickey but he the doesn't he's, he's leaving Harvey safe enough, you know. Yeah, because Harvey, because uh, the ball's in a, an unpalatable well, position. He's going for it, he's going for it. So we, we, we're going to spin round here to the other table, Mickey, just up above us here. We've, we've just picked up another table. Oh, uh, hard luck. So we're now on, it, we're on now table. This is table. That's we're table. now on table two. So we're we have Lawrence, Lawrence McElinden. And we have Paul McAreevy from McGuigan's. So, that looks to be a Bosco man there with a Bosco top. Bosco man and McGuigan's. So there we have Bosco man and McGuigan's. And of course, the Bosco just round the corner here. So, this is a tough shot for Harvey. Hard luck there, th that shot there from uh, Dermot Lonigan. That was very hard luck. So, we're describing a, a game off, off camera here and Michael Linton. So, there's a good close up shot of table two. And somebody shouted 30 seconds over on the far side for a game. And there's Harvey is 30 seconds to take a shot. There was a little think off another ball. It didn't go in. So Harvey Lavelle has a lot of thinking here to do. He's he well, he's taking it. We have to be quiet here. We told to quiet and down a wee bit. Well, Mickey, if I was to describe what happened there, well, you probably wouldn't believe me. Uh, somebody just described it in one word a minute ago. And... Uh, <laughs> well that was unbelievable. Shot. Mickey, that was and and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He went for around the round, round the table for so a tip and a back. All, we're just waiting on the, the Lawrence McLinden game and uh, Paul McAreevy game to finish now. So and then we'll make the draw live. live draw then the last hit. Well, here we have it. You're very welcome to our live coverage of Pool, sponsored by Destination Yuri, covered by Destination Yuri, and a little bit of a move down the camera, but. Mickey, that was some finish by that Harvey Lavelle. Well, actually, that was absolutely unbelievable. He just took a shot there, Damien. He, he hit the ball round the table. He bounced it round six cushions. It went in and landed straight on the black. So a little bit of luck. Could Harvey Lavelle well have that used that ball as luck? To me, that wouldn't be a little bit of luck. That Do you think he went for that? A lot, a lot, a lot of luck, that was. Right, a lot of luck. That so was there unbelievable, that does. You're right. Well, there we have it, Mickey. So we're back here live. Especially when his back was against the wall. He was beat. Well, he went for it, Mickey. And, and that's no, he didn't go for it. He just hit and hoped. Well, he went for it. No. Okay, right, okay, okay. Uh, we have a, we have a, <laughs> a disagreement here. <laughs> I would say he looked at the table and he just goes, go for it. One each in this Once one. Once I finish, we're going to do the draw then. Yeah. Yeah, so we're doing that dra draw live. But this is one each. And there was again, Mickey, that ball was hit too hard. I've called him out already. So, uh, 
uh, Mickey's getting his instructions from the boss. <laughs> so this is again a tight one here. It's one each here, and this one between. So we're going to put up a who's through in the next round. All the way up the table, blocks off the top end. So this is a one each game. Live pool on Destination Yuri here in TJ's on a Thursday evening on early June. Well, that ball almost clipped into the middle. So, again, yellow's at one end of the table, red's at the top end. At the, uh, I suppose the bulk end, if you want to call it that, that would be from the semicircle end back down. And I look over and I see the white cross man here. Young Phelan's not too happy he got beat here, but Cahill Phelan's very happy. I've got the house on Cahill Phelan. Lukey told me earlier on to get the money on him. So we'll do the live very very the live draw very very shortly once the game that's on now is complete. So Mickey's over explaining to the lads and there's a little technical shot there but he tried to get the ball a wee bit further towards the top end of the cushion here. And you're very welcome to Destination Newry's live coverage of pool for the first time in the history of Newry, where we have live pool going out around the world this evening. And uh, anybody that's away from home and wants to get a little bit of feel of Newry and the atmosphere here in TJ's, which would be above uh, the Bitten Bridal pub here in the town centre. That ball's gone in straight down the middle. He didn't play for that one, but it went in. So Marty Lavelle, Marty Lavelle has come in here and he's come in to see how did the brother do. So Harvey Lavelle, he, he, well the boys will tell what Harvey done, Harvey flipped the ball and got in on the black. So, well that's a poor shot from the boss come on, but again, thought it went in, we'd be happy enough to, and that's on table too. So, Mickey's over there getting all the graphics ready for the draw we're going to be doing the draw very very shortly once this game gets over so we're waiting on table two a little bit of a snooker there so it's getting very tactical here down on the table two where it's one apiece and when we wait the end of that game we will make the draw live here this evening so this is going to be a tactical a little technical end of this game will the referee be calling time on it well Marty Lavelle is in here and the boys are explaining to them how Harvey managed to win that game so Anita if you're watching here this evening uh, Harvey <laughs> pulled out a, <laughs> a, as I say a dinger at the end to win the game it was <laughs> the other lads are looking at me. <laughs> they're all agree. They're all agreeing with me. It was some dinger. Well, this game here is getting very, very technical. Getting very, very tight down the bottom end. So, and of course, this game is sponsored by Destination Newry, the Newry Pool overall individual last 16 here tonight. And there's a cracking game, <laughs> a cracking shot. That ball went in. Not sure if he meant that to go in, but. Ken McMahon and John McGee, table one winners. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll wait for Mickey to come back, but uh, John McGee definitely uh, won, won his game. John Little foot. Uh, well, he potted the black, but he went in off, and John would be, I would say John would be probably kicking himself at this stage, but this game here that we're watching now has got very, very congested in the top corner. It's like coming through here on a bad day with loads of traffic. You can never get in or get out. So the the, the atmosphere is building here. 
I see a couple of Cross McLean Rangers jerseys appearing in the game. So there's a little bit of tipping going on here. We have a 20 minute rule. If the game goes over 20 minutes, they'll be re racked. Well, Mickey, this game's... Oh, there's a super... There's a this super snooker. Wire. This is one each, is it, Damien? Yeah. Yeah, one each. And he... Uh, Lawrence McAlinden and uh, Paul McAreevy. First division versus third division again. A little top So we could have another upset here tonight again, like one and four and one and three here tonight. But It'd uh, be good for Poole. Good, 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 good sportsman there. He, he tapped the coup. That's a good shot, Mickey. That's a cracking shot. That's a super shot, so... Kieran McMahon and John McGee, table one winners, that is now. So they're into the next round? They're into the last eight. There we have it. And then we have Tristan Bourne and Harvey Lavelle, table three winners. The reason why that's up there at the minute, Damien, is because we were, as you can see, table two is not finished yet. So we're waiting on this. And we're then waiting on it. And then we have table four winners coming up with Scaffold Feeling and Mike Nugent. And, and Lukey Feeling told me earlier on, he says, Damien, if you're a betting man, get your money in our fella. Cal Fiennes play well. I, I watched him beating Harvey, uh, sorry, Martin Lavelle the other night. He absolutely played superbly. He, be, he, 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 he beat the overall, the former overall individual champion tonight, Kieran Morgan there, so he did tonight 2-0. Yeah, well, Cal Luke, Fiennes did great play. Lukey, Lukey told me that uh, he fancied his lad to do well tonight, so uh, he uh, says to me... All I can say is that, Damien, is good luck to him. Good luck to everybody, I say. Well, Mickey, we're on the business end of the competition here. And we're going to be making the draw very, very shortly. And we're of course, we're going to be making the draw in about five minutes now when this game's over. And of course, Mickey, uh, we we. And uh, it looks like Lawrence McIlinden is in big trouble here. Well, it's getting very congested down that corner, Mickey. I said it was like yeah, coming in three and a bad yeah, day well with the traffic. It could be two TJ players going out down the night, which would, which would, to me, I don't mind who goes in or who goes out, but it'd be good for the old pool league. You know, that the third division and fourth division and second division are still into the last eight. But I sort of think so. Mickey, uh, with, with eight of the minute, it could be anybody's game. You know well, I mean? when I look at this, Mickey, and I, I, I sort of think divisions mean nothing when it comes to this. You no, know, it's, no, it's, it's all down. It's championship. It's, it's all down to playing pool on the night. So it is. And it's whoever can handle the little bit of pressure. There's a heavy bridge over the black. And I'm having a good look around me here, Damien. And there's an awful lot of players here tonight that is not playing in to spectate. Well, that's good because uh, when your peers come and support you, Mickey, it's... There's uh, an awful lot of players come in there. There's a half a dozen come in there in the last five minutes, sir. All here. All, oh, yeah, the whole lot on there. So Brett Healy, Jamie McGagan, Paul McGuigan, Dusty O'Hagan. Lots of them coming in there now. Big interest tonight. Oh, that's a great shot by Lawrence. But he's well he's snickered. Snickered. So what would he do I now, Mickey? How I he's going he's to have to play to hit this or else he gives him two shots. He'd, he'd have to be coming off the, 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 the back cushion. No, 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 you reckon he'd come off the back? I, well, okay. Can he but get in behind? He it, if, he, if he hits it or misses it, it could still be well over. Oh, good shot. He got it. He got it. Oh, he, he took it out well, but it still could be over here. Well, at least he, 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 he had a go for it. And, and I must add, young Paul McAreevy there. He plays for McGuigan's. He's a cracking wee player. Well, Mickey, what would you be saying now? He would, he, would, he would be rolling the middle ball into the corner. He'd be rolling this one down. So that ball, a little bit of pressure. He takes a step back, takes a long, long look. But, Mickey, you would think okay. that he'd be rolling. The, well, is he going? No, he's not going for no, the No, he's going for the bottom two and then one in the middle. There you go. Oh, he's, he's just come too far. He's going to come in behind the black, is he? No. Tables, Jim, Jim is the tables very well ironed tonight for the pool. Oh, Mickey, I have to say, this is my first time up in the pool, the pool room here, and I'm very, very impressed. It's, 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 I didn't realise there was many pool tables up here, and a, and a bigger one down the bottom end. That's a cracking shot there, oh, Mickey. It's so too hard, actually. But, he's put it there, but it, it, if he hits this right, it'll be hard to get on the black, Damien, from there. Because he'd if he, if he, have to screw back. 
Well, you're not just the yeah, yeah, yeah. just ruling the way it ends. Well, if, 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 if he down the cushion, he'd probably hit his yellow. You see, it's very unfortunate that last shot, he hit it too hard. Well, just looking at it in, in from a distance, Mickey, I, I know what I will be doing. I will be probably just trying to rule the way it in and get a little bit of spin back off, off the white. No, I think he's... Is he, I can't see what he's doing. Oh, he's screwing back, yeah. Great that's shot. That's, that's, that's a great shot. Brilliant shot. Great shot, Paul. Great I shot. I swear great shot. I called up, Mickey. So, but he's still a... This is a pressure shot. It's just not as easy as it looks. Here's another... Well, maybe got a close up on this one. There we go. Brilliant so. shot. Brilliant shot. A good finish, finish, folks. Great round of applause out him in. That's yeah. it. Now we have all the all the, the so four tables done. Now, Sean, have you got? <coughs> so we're going to do the draw live on Destination Union here. So you're very very welcome to our live coverage of the pool, where we have a, a total gathering of all the super pool players. So we we'll wait the lads to move the camera back onto the original table and the draws will be made. So the camera now will be moving and it's coming quarter to 11 here so the camera has moved round and we're going to get a pan round from what's happening here this evening. I see Kevin McGee standing there with his arms folded. Tony Bagnell is still running about. So Mickey, Mickey, well there's the last Tony Bagnell. Uh, they're going to be photographing the chairman. So, so the all the players are being called over to the draw. So uh, it's getting a little bit frantic here. So. Look, the names are going. The names are going to go into the hat or something here. So Mickey Cunningham is going to be writing down. Mickey is doing a lot of work behind the scenes here. Well, there's an awful lot of men around the table here saying, "Why don't we do this and why don't we do that?" But he, the best about it is he's wearing an armad top, so he's in good company. So Brian McGill and Paul McAvoy. So we have uh, well, we have the chairman, we have Kevin McGee, looking at the cup. Saying, uh, I, I want, uh, I want the names. Tony Bagnell. Tony always tries to get in, so Tony Bagnell. I thought he was going to sit down there, but I think what we're going to have is the the last six team, all the last players going to be getting a photograph taken. We're looking for Cal Phelan to get up there, probably. Well, somebody says. The boys are saying here Mickey Cunningham couldn't run the bath, but I can tell you Mickey can definitely organise the pool because uh, definitely doing great work here this evening. Tony Bagnell, Tony knows there's a camera about. He's always in front of one or behind one at all stages. So Tony is going to get a photograph of all the remaining pool players. So you're very, very welcome to our live coverage here at about quarter to 11 on a Thursday night. Where we have uh, the last eight players to go into the, the knockout stages here, sponsored by Destiny Senori. I think we'll probably be maybe taking a little break for a minute or two after this. Um, maybe we'll play some music or something, but we'll see what happens here. Tony Bagnell from the Newry Democrat, a legend. Uh, in the sport annals of Newry and Cal McCoy, the, the referee. Well, you just get Cahill here. Cahill, just pick that mic up. Cahill, you refereed a couple of matches there and they're uh, very, very tense. Oh, they're tense. There's a couple of boys very sad there. And of course, the, 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 the in off the black by Little, he would uh, be kicking himself. Well, it's very, you know, that's what happens with Poolig. It's very unlucky. You've seen the chairman on there sitting there with the boys there. That's all the finalists. That was the Yip fellas. Um, I'm trying to remember who they all are. But You've got uh, Harley, Harvey Lavelle. Well, Harvey Lavelle. When we talk about Harvey Lavelle, we, we hadn't got his game on camera there, but we watched it as he took his uh, the last shot in the red, yeah. and he just, as, as, as I says, it was a dinger of a shot, Cahill. He winged it round the table, and just by the lap of the guard, it fell in, and well, it left him on the black. Again, that's poor. That's why, you know, you're, you're not sure. Now, Keir McMahon, you know, is, is going well there. I think, uh, <laughs> I think that the finalists that are in is... Uh, 
Cahill Phelan. Well, I, I knew when I was talking to Lukey earlier. Uh, Brian. Lukey uh, says, get your house on our fella. Well, you know, to be honest, the enemy could win at this stage. You know, and um, I know the wife's texted me there to say to get my big head out of the, <laughs> out of the road. <laughs> well, that's just there, so we'll give everybody a wave here behind the screen. The last, you know, so the, 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 you've got the last date there, uh, you know, and it's going to be really tight. And we're playing on these two tables, so we're going to hopefully cover uh, both of them yeah. live, you know, and... Uh, and anyway, I mean, this will all be up tomorrow morning as well, yeah? Yeah, so, so well done, Kyle, and of course you're sponsoring no. this competition, yeah. and you're, you're heavily involved with the pool league, and I have to say, the atmosphere is brilliant here. Oh, it's good, they're all good, all the good pool, good pool players here at the end of the night, you know? And somebody says earlier on there, Mickey Cunningham couldn't run the bath, but he's not doing so bad, Kyle. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Mickey Cunningham, he's too loud. <laughs> well, but he knows but his he's pool. a special one, yeah. Yeah, he's a special one. And of course, now the food's gone out and everybody's getting settled down for the, the next phase of the. Well, you're going to do the draw now, Damien, so hopefully you get that draw live, you know. Well, we're waiting. I think Mickey's writing out the names here and he's what he's doing, he's, he's writing the name. He's ready to go in a second here. He's shouting yeah, in the background. So we, we'll, we'll pick this up live. But we need to do that draw live there, you know. So hopefully, maybe Sean or Aaron can sort out the table that they're going to do the draw on. Yeah, so I we think we're going to do it up on the, on the first table there we were earlier on. Yeah, okay. So, that was one coming in earlier on. Did oh, so Mickey did, did Mickey paint... Uh, oh, he paints driveways, right, right, right. Mickey's now painting driveways. That's because he spills the paint. Somebody he says to Dusty O'Hagan and... Uh, Dusty O'Hagan. Ta Tommy O'Hanlon just go there for the sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, Dusty O'Hagan and Tommy O'Hanlon's here, yeah. They're here for the sandwiches only. Are you here for the sandwich only, boy? Yeah, they said they are. Well, there we go, Mickey. We're almost ready, are we, Mickey? Ready in two minutes. We want on the table... Yeah. Uh, ...for doing the draw, and we're going to spread the names out. And he'll be able to print them up then. Okay, so you, what do you do, Mickey? Just throw the names on the table and then just reach in and, and pull them about. Yeah. Or do you not just put them into the cup? Yeah, yeah but we, we, we want the, 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 the TV camera to see the names so uh, Sean can print them up there, you see. Okay, so, so yeah. right, okay, so. So, Damon, you just stall the thing there and we'll try and get okay. the draw ready, all right? So, if you've just bear with us here, and of course, Destination Yuri sponsoring this competition, and uh, bring it live so uh, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey's going to go and. Either one, either table one or table two, Mickey. So we'll probably go to table one, the first table we were at. So, so, so the boys are going over to, to get ready now for the draw. So there goes Mickey. Mickey knows he's on the camera. He's looking up and he's saying to everybody, I'm looking well. So we're going to go to table one. And as we wait here for the draw, the live draw for the, I think that's the quarterfinals or the semifinals. I can't even remember, but there's eight, eight players left. So that would leave it. So the boys are getting ready up here. The sandwiches are out. The draw is about to be made. So we'll get Cal Field over here. Cal, come over here, Cal, and have a quick talk. Cal, you're into the you're into the knockout stages here. The business end. I am Damien for a change. And of course, Mickey says, "Get your money and our fellow tonight." So <laughs> we'll have the house on. You, you, you watch Harvey Lavelle. He was so lucky there. Uh, well, Harvey always plays those kind of shots over the last lucky years anyway. You know, he's he's been known to do that. So fair play to him. Well, it was a, I, I would call it a dinger of a shot. It was a, probably a fluke, but he, he's in the next round, Cal, and that's what it's all about. He is indeed. That's it. So we'll see how it goes anyway. Well, we, we, we see how it goes now. Well, there's the sandwiches. There's the best woman in the house tonight. So, Mickey, we're going to go to that camera there, Aaron. We're going to go to the table here. The, ta the, the names are going to go out on the table as we look down. So there we have it, folks. This is how you do the draw live. They go into the little champagne glass, Mickey Cunningham. So of course Mickey, he, he, he's getting everything organised over there. All the names are down. Mickey has checked our independent verva has checked that everything is okay. So the cup goes over, and now what happens is the names have gone into the big cup. So Yvonne just pulls out a little bit and. So all the names have gone into the chalice. The Destination Yuri Cup. So, we, so now we await. Mickey has decided. Okay, so Kevin and Mickey and Carl over there. So Mickey, so Mickey now makes the draw. So the draw is going live. Oh, 
Well, we're just going to check to see can we get a mic closer to the to the draw before we make it here. So we're just going to wait and see. We're going to take a live mic from the camera, so you bear with me here, and the boys will make the call. So we wait, and I will now um, taste the, the the delights of TJ's. So we're going to hand it over to Mickey, and Mickey's going to make the draw. <laughs> <laughs> so we await now for the big draw. Where's Sean again? Sean! Sean! Yes, that's a big Sean! 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 We're going to do the live draw now, yeah? Live draw for the last eight of the overall individuals. Now, Sean, we're going to pick out, uh, when I tell you to pick out a name, you pick out a name, yeah? Are you ready? Sean, are you ready? Yeah? Can, you see, can you see it all here, yeah? Here, there you go. Right, Sean's going to pick out the first name. Go ahead, Sean. Just stick it on the, can uh, on the table there first, please. Just the one, yeah? And the first name I've ever had is... Paul Magarini McGuigan's B. We're just waiting now, Kevin. Are you alright there, Sean? Go ahead. Go ahead there, Sean. Fill out another one, please. We can. Second one out of the hat is. He can hear me. Is Kieran McMahon CWC A? That's Paul McAlevey versus Kieran McMahon CWC A Table One. You got that one. Go ahead, that one. Next one I have for Table One is Harley Laval Critical A. Just take it a second here, just get, make sure we get the names up. You got them there, yeah? You got them there, yeah? Go ahead, go ahead, Sean, take another one out there. Next one out now to play Harvey is... Mike Nugent, TJSB. That's table one. On table two, sorry. TGSB. I'll just see if he's ready there. Sean, are you ready for the next one? Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Sean, for the next one. Next one in the hat is. Still to be in the canal. Brian McGill, CWC B. Brian McGill, CWC B. Christian Bourne, PGSA. Christian Bourne versus Brian McGill. That's two and three, Kevin, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go for the last two now. Must be family. Has to be family. It's. John McGee, a local boys versus. It has to be Carl Field, isn't it? 
versus Kevin Foley and White Cross. And that's the draw for the last eight, folks. That's okay anyway, Sean. Thanks very much. We're going to use the throw hearted tables. Okay, cheers, Kevin. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. You have the names there. They're, in, they're all in there anyway. Can you see that? Yeah. Your fingers in the way. You got them. Get on. Yeah, he's on it, yeah. The draw up here, but the draw has been made. Oh, we've been well looked after here in TJ's tonight. Absolutely been well looked after here. Mickey Cunningham is happy enough. So we'll get Mickey over here. Mickey, come over here. Harvey Lavelle, he's looking for Harvey Lavelle. The draw is done here, so the draw was done live, and they're going around telling the players who to play. So the atmosphere is uh, electrifying here in TJ's. A lot of pool players around. So Mickey Cunningham, he has the list. And the referees and the chairman are gathered into the corner having a, a debate about what's going on here. So I think we're going to be going with two tables at the one time. Thanks to TJ's for the food and the tea. It's much, much appreciated. So, alive from TJ's pool hall here, Destination Uri's coverage of the individual pool competition here in TJ's, where we have a full house, a lot of people behind, but Mickey Cunningham, Callum McCoy, Kevin McGee, they're all talking there. I see Marty Lavelle in the shot. And if I look up, you can see me waving behind Marty's head. So Marty's going to write down a few names. So the draws have been made. There's a lot of discussion going on. I think they're talking to referees. Marty, we're going to get Marty over here. Marty, come here a second. Okay, Marty's going to go and get the... Okay, so what they've done now, they've made the, the draw for the players, now they make the draw for the table, who plays on what table. So that's what's happening now, I see Sean McGuinness there, in the background. Big, big call over here, a lot of discussion. So they're deciding what table they're going to go to. Maybe somebody wants the table away from the camera, but we're hoping to get a camera close. So the decisions have been made. We're just waiting on verification. Well, Marty has just disappeared. I'll try to get a hold of Marty Lavelle. A lot of discussion going on off camera on the far side there. Referees, chairmen, organizers, players. And that's all behind us there. So we're waiting to see what this final decision will be. I see Mickey Cunningham getting very animated over in the corner. Cal McCoy picks up the, the list. So we wait to see what's happening. Marty Lavelle's over trying to get some sort of a decision. We await 
the decision on the far side. We don't know what's happening here. We're waiting on the, the tables to be decided who will play on what table. And obviously some of the players prefer to play on certain tables here in the pool hall. Mickey Cunningham, well, he's lifted the, the sheet again. We await now on Mickey. Mickey's coming towards the cup. There's the cup, so Mickey is coming towards me here. So Marty's coming over here with the, the draw. So Marty, can you tell me what happened over there? Paul McAreevy versus uh, Kieran McMahon. That's the first game. So I'll hand these to Ke Sean. These will be put up on the screen very, very quickly, folks. So just bear with me here and we'll... Our first game is going to be McAreevy and McMahon, I think. Paul McAreevy and Kim McMahon will be on table one, so that's going to be done now. So the camera spins round to the first table where we commenced this evening's programme. And of course, you're very welcome to Destination Jury's live coverage here of Pool, the first time in the history of Pool. So the first big game. The quarter-final will be starting, and it's the best of three again, Marty, the best of three games, yep, best of three games. So we have two tables, there will be two games commencing at the same time. The referees are getting ready. And there's McMahon. He would be Mickey Cunningham's bet to win the competition. So we've been well looked after here in TJ's this evening. We've got sandwiches and cocktail sauces and tea at 11 o'clock. It's brilliant. So this is live from TJ's pool hall here. And there's the draw. Paul McAreevy versus Kieran McMahon. Harvey Lavelle versus Mike Nugent, Brian McGill versus Tristan Byrne, and John McGee versus Cahill Phelan. And I'm going to put my hat on Cahill Phelan here this evening, where Lukey said earlier on, get your house on Cahill, he's hot tonight. So we wait for the first one. Mickey, are you happy enough? Yeah, yeah, I'll be very happy now if I can find my paint, Amy. We'll let Mickey go and get his paint and we'll get the other mic back here and then we'll uh, we'll come back as the games go into action.
Competition here. Quarter finals came in? Yep, so we're into the quarter final stages and we have the first ball by I think that's McMahon, is it? The strike. The yellow ball, the yellow ball's gone, Mickey. Could be a clear up here, I mean, I don't know. It's looking, it's looking very bleak. Paul McAreevy at the minute, and that's only the Well, the balls are pretty scattered, so this gives McMahon a chance to show off the skills here, Mickey. I'm sure he will do. Yes, I'm sure. I mean, he, he, the competition might be there. He, uh, oh, he's, he's not in there. Well, even the good players, even the good players going off, he's, he's stunned off that percussion and maybe he's out in the middle of the game. It's unfortunate for him to hit too hard, amen. And Ken, Ken, eh... Uh, well, Paul would find it very difficult to clear up the house. Quite difficult. In my opinion. So Paul takes... His first shot of the quarter final. One shot left. We'll make a really spell round, but we'll, we'll not worry about that. We'll mic's back on. So, Sean's panicking here in the background about the mics on and off. But the other game is. Is mine on, well. yeah? Yeah, we'll get mics on. So, the other game on, Mickey, on the other table has commenced as well. Yeah, I think we're going to swing around there. That's Trish and Bourne and Brian McGill. So, Kieran McMahon and Paul McAreevy. That's another game, Damien. That could be very interesting, that one. That's another first division versus fourth division. Well, Mickey, you can't spell, because that's the crap spelling of Paul McAreevy. That's it. There's no A in it. There's an E in it. But sure, it doesn't matter. We know who it is anyway. It's Paul versus Kieran. Keep it right here. <laughs> and Marty Lavelle has just joined us here, the suicide player from Tuesday night. He was very down the dumps on Tuesday night after getting beat 2-0. And I think he got away. His old adversary, Cahill Phelan. Well, here, Paul's going well here, Mickey. We, we Paul's going well, actually. He's still, he's still in play anyway. And you go for, you go for the ball to the bottom, yeah. bottom left. And if he puts that in, Mickey, that should leave him then for the one in the middle. Oh, oh he hit that too hard. in the jaws yeah. of the pocket all there. He was good. He, he got up to go around the table. Yeah. Such as fine lines. No, we're all on here, but Sean's just panicking a wee bit here because we have to talk a wee bit lower because it's a very, very intense game on here. But that's that a great shot by McMahon. Okay. So Arn Donnelly, the man from Drummond Hay. He says, I'm coming down, give me a few words in my ear there. Paul is the son of the famous James McAreevy. Here we go again. I mean, look, McMahon is going to finish here, I think. Well, there we have it. Yeah, there there we have a, here we have another game over now by Cian McMahon. Absolutely superb. To finish from there. Again, Mickey, these oh, games are going very, very fast. He, 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 he's an absolute legend, that man. Very intense, Mickey, when oh, I look at him. Yeah. And he just takes it in a oh, stride. Look at that. He's, he's, class, he's a class act. And chalks the queue every time. And yeah. carries there, as you can see, his pool carrier behind the red, white, and black box behind. And Ken just rolls the black in. So that's a very, very handy win for Ken. But we're going to slip. I think we'll go to table two now at the minute. Swing it around there. 
No, we thought we were going to go to this other table, but we're not. We're going to swing round to the other table too. Well, they're setting up for game two, frame two, and, and, and table one. Here we go now, folks. A table is number two a table. There's table two, where we have Brian McGill, CWZB, and we yeah. have Tristan Brown, TJZ. So again, ball sitting nicely placed. <coughs> First division versus fourth division. So who's your money on this one, Mickey? Oh, my money on this one would be Tristan. So, a serious amount of uh, studying the farm. Mega is the Somebody needs to call. Uh, he, he's a long time taking that shot now. Here we go. So, we're in table two here. And table two now, at the minute. We have uh, Tristan Brown, TJZ, uh, and we have Brian McGill, uh, CWCB. Yep. Yeah, we're we're right. Right. yeah, yeah. So that's a good shot, Mickey. That's a long, long pot. That's a long pot there by Tristan. Super strike. And he has a couple of balls sitting on here, so I think Tristan will probably go for go for broke here, will he? Well he, he can he can pot the ball to the right. Well, yeah, there's there's seven balls here, one in the bottom, one in the middle. And he puts them on the middle down for that, 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 that you know. It's so here he goes, going for the other middle. No, he didn't actually. Well, it's oh, on, uh, no on the sides of the pockets there. Yeah, man, that's a shot now. He missed that one. And you would expect a man of his <laughs> capabilities to be putting that in. So the pool hall has gone into darkness here. Some of the lads want to play another game, but Mickey, I think... Yeah, we've cut it down to two tables now so we can watch them all. Kim McMahon is on again. Gonna stay with this one here. Oh, we're staying with this one, yeah. We're staying with this one for the minute because uh, it's a tight one, and we'll we'll pick up the other game in a moment. <coughs> but Tristan Bourne versus Brian McGill. That's a good shot from Tristan there. Now. That's a super strike there, my guy. So that was a brilliant shot by Tristan Bourne. And he still has a shot on for the middle, and he could actually put the corner ball as red, the red. But I would say he'd probably go for the middle here, Damien. I would think so. Or maybe he might take this one and get position. No, he's yeah, going yeah. to go down the table, possibly, Mickey, because yeah, his position, he wouldn't have good position. So again, he's thinking of the shot ahead rather than the shot just taken. It's the one ahead all the time that they're looking at here. He'd well probably have to put this one here first here, the one to the right. right, yeah, because he'd have to get up the table again for the red in here, Damien. That's the shot. Did he get the shot? Did he get the angle? Well, he's got the angle. He's, he's going to roll up then to get yeah, the... Yeah, but I don't know if he has so the angle. So he'll go for the middle. It's hard to see it from here, actually. He'll, he'll try and roll the ball up towards the, 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 the red above the black. And I think McMahon is on the finish again, Damien, as we go to the first game again. Well, we'll cover that in a minute. We'll go to the, the other one in a minute, but we'll stay with this one here because this is a fair good game here from Tristan Byrne and Brian McGill. And then we'll we'll go back to the table one. No, he didn't get the angle. He didn't get the angle when he played the last one, you see. But he can still slice this one in and come back and put the black in the same pocket. It's a fine slice. The referee has a good look at it. So the time clock's still rolling there, Mickey. So Tristan Byrne yeah, and Brian McGill. Yeah, he'll go for this. Anyway. He'll go for this. Maybe he can't see it, can he? Well, it's going to be a tight one, Mickey. So, even looking at it from a distance here, it's, it's going to be a tight one. And he needs to watch that he doesn't clip the yellow that's hanging over the left hand pocket here. He's not going for Mickey, he's just bringing no, it down. No, he didn't go for it, he couldn't see it, he was snooping on it. you're very welcome to Destiny Yesenuri's live coverage of the pool, individual pool here in TJ's Pool Hall in the middle of Newry. 
sponsored by Destination Yuri and brought to you by Destination Yuri. Not going to do too much with that shot, I don't well think. He's still got the, the <coughs> yellow in the top left here, Maggie, but the position wouldn't be good. There's a lot no, of not, not easy. It's five left. And a lot of balls are not in good potable position. No, indeed they're not. Well, he pulled that one too yeah. thick, Mickey. So Did he snooker him? But I think he might have snookered him. He has snookered him, yeah. There's two shots on that one. He missed it, so. We have Kieran McMahon here now to take his last ball now. Sorry, Teresa, what's I'm just checking that Kieran McMahon game there. He has one shot left. So we're off the we're following one Even game and looking at the other one. McMahon is looking here to go through to the next round. What a cracking shot. Absolutely cracking shot. So cracking shot. We're following Black Tristan yeah. Bourne and Brian McGoober. We're going to just slide across the other table where Kim McMahon is on the black. And he just that was an absolute cracking. That was a cracking shot to pick that yellow up and black up for Kim McMahon. Absolutely. Cracking shot. He, he brushed that man actually, didn't he? You know, the more I see of this man. I Absolutely. Mean, I was looking there. I couldn't see where the black was, and I, I turned around and I seen when he hit part of the ball in the middle. He took took the red away and left the black still on. Cracking shot. Class. Mickey, he's a class of his own, Damien. Yes, absolutely. And and you can see that. Is but this your tea, Damien? That's yours, Mickey. I don't drink tea. Well, there we go. Oh, there's a great shot there, Mickey. That's a great. Well, it almost went in. So Mickey Cunningham doesn't drink tea. He only drinks pints. Somebody said he couldn't run a bath, but he can drink a pint, and he can organise a pool competition. Damien, who, who's drinking the pints here, me or you? <laughs> He's very strong around this part of the time. Okay. <laughs> well done to Kieran McMahon. Well done to Kieran McMahon. Yeah, he's now into the semi-final. As I told you, he's a class act. I tipped him to win it. And here we go now. Brian McGill and Christian Bourne were still on the first game. And Kieran McMahon has won 2-0. Well, they'll go ahead now on table They're one. Gonna go, we're going to go ahead with table one. Where's I? Uh, we want. Oh, yeah, well, we'll, go to, we'll go to table one now with Harvey Lavelle. So. <laughs> Mickey's way over there. We're going to slide back because this other game's taking a little bit of time. We're going to go to Harvey Lavelle. We're in table two here, live coverage of the pool, playing live, nil nil, Tristan Bourne and Brian McGill, and this is going to come off the bottom, and in behind, so that game's going to go on for another wee bit, so Mickey, we're going to go to table one, I think. I think we're going to turn around to table one, are we? going to change the table here now folks we're going to swap over to table one where Harvey Lavelle is playing Mike Nugent so the here we go now well I thought is this must be for the do they not just toss Mickey to see or do they go up and down the ball I think they're going to toss yeah this will be a cracking game too these are two great players here and this is Harvey Lavelle playing Mike Nugent from uh, TJSB and Harvey from Crunchyco and of course when we look at how Harvey won his last game uh, he finished on a dinger of a shot. I spoke to him now as I was going out to the toilet. And he, he says, uh, he, says he, 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 he tried to get the black safe. Say, Harvey, you're talking to Mickey Cunningham. <laughs> Not Damien McCullough. Well, there's Mickey Joke Damien. There's, there's some of the balls that didn't go in there. So there Who's that broke off there? Harvey, was it? Yeah. I'm not no, sure. No, no, Mike Nugent broke. So Harvey very, very unlucky. Not, uh, I'm telling you now, he was very unlucky. Not can, Harvey, can Harvey hit the, Harvey, uh, the red? Yeah. Uh, so there we have it. So. But he's not going to do that, I don't think. Oh, he is, yeah, that's the way, sorry. 
Yeah, so. The boys are handing Mickey, uh, the boys are handing Mickey a pair of glasses here. <laughs> <laughs> and Mickey, Mickey's about to put the glasses on, he says, can't see nothing with them either, lads. <laughs> yeah, too many pints, but Harvey LaBelle. It's, it's him foreigners from White Cross. <laughs> Well, it's uh, politically correct to say Intruders. newcomers now, uh, Mickers. That's the White Cross man, but that's a good shot there from Harvey Lavelle, and he has two still in the, the corner. Only, the only thing for Mike Nugent here is the black is going nowhere, but then knowing Harvey, he'd probably break it up somewhere, you know. I think that'd be a great game. So, Harvey Lavelle, brother of Marty Lavelle, son of Peter Lavelle, Cara Krupp and footballer of fame. And pool player of renown. I don't know. <laughs> so the other game, the other game, the other game was still, still going. Still going. First game still going. It must be near twenty minutes, isn't it, Mickey? Yeah. Well, actually, Kieran McMahon won that game two 0 and we're now on to the second game on table one, and we're still on the first game. I, was, I thought it was over there. No, it's not. But Harvey Lavelle here. Harvey Lavelle versus Mike Nugent. There's, a, there's, a, there's been a minute left in this other game. So if that other game goes t uh, over time, Mickey, what happens? Re-rack? Yeah, uh, no, it's not a re-rack, Jamie. It's, uh, you, you take the black two balls off the back cushion and you lag the white up and down to see who wins the toss. Well, that's a bad shot there from Harvey. Harvey missed, missed that one in the one. middle, yeah. The clock's going to go now in this game. So then it's the balls off and then just up and down for it's the black. black. Up and down for the black. It's that happened here. Yeah. And it will be a uh, good shot there for Mike Nugent. It'll be just best man, you know what I mean? Wins the black. Oh, Mike, oh no, he potted. He Mike's potted going now. well, yeah, he's potting well. Yeah, but he has two balls in here. He's, he's and, and Harvey has I a couple of good goalkeepers he, in there. He's going to try and get snookered in behind this yellow up here, behind the black. He's a great player, this Mike. Oh, he snookered himself. Well, Harvey has a couple of buses parked in this corner here, Mickey, where you he couldn't even two, get yeah. a, a bus through. So. We we'll wait to see what Mike's going to do. Mike, he's going to. Um, I think that's what he'll do. He'll probably run the yellow and the white up behind the black. Well, thought he would have maybe got the white closer to the black there, mm -hmm. Mickey. I would say that clock went long. Well, we we'll wait on the first. Uh, Timeline, time overtime. Well, that's at the black. It looks like Christian Bourne's going to win the first game. That's Mike's luck going. So that's a great shot there by Mike Nugent. But the two yellows beside but the black. Say, but to say it is a great shot, Damien, but he's going nowhere. Well, the, the two, the two, the two, the two, uh, the two yellows. Two yellows sitting in here, and now he's going to try and take them out. No, he's not. He's still going to go for them. No, I'll still go for Harvey for this game. Not unless something like extraordinary happens. Well, Harvey now has a big call here. He has five balls on the table. Yeah, but they're very potable, each one of them. It was a good idea. We took it down to two tables now because we were around it off too quick. Actually, I think. Well, it's probably the right it's thing. Going, to it's, it's going quite fast in these games. That was a cracking shot from Harvey. Great, great shot there. Great well, shot from Harvey Lavelle. Uh, I would say he probably didn't mean it, but knowing Harvey, he probably no, did. did. No, he did mean it. Yeah, he did. Somebody asked Marty Lavelle. He's not playing. Somebody forgot to tell Marty he could beat the other night. You know. <laughs> Well, that was well off the mark there, Mickey. Well off the mark. Harvey, two shots here, he'd probably... He'd be looking to take the black out here, so he will. He's scratching the top of the head there, deciding what he's going to do, Mickey. So we're live here in TJ's Pool Hall, where this and this and you're sponsoring the pool individual competition here. I'm bringing you live coverage of pool. The first time in the history of pool, Mickey, and it's been in Newry a long, long time. A long, long time. It must be going, it's, I think it's going 38 years. Damien? 
38 years. And Harvey Lavelle just dinks that ball in, took the yellow away, Mickey. So yeah, he opened it up. He wanted to get that black out in the play, but he didn't. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't successful. We wait until his next shot now. Well, he has to go and try he and roll. If anyway. he wants to leave these two, he'll be, be trying yeah. to roll the, 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 the red into the bottom, bottom right. left. Bottom left, you'll call it right, Mickey. Yeah, we missed it. No, still, there's another the shot. Up now, Damien. Harvey, I didn't realise he had two shots on that one, Mickey, so he's still another shot. It's a good job his fringe isn't getting in his eyes there, Mickey. Well, he doesn't need a haircut anyway. A bit like yourself and myself. He's contemplating, they're going to call it 30 seconds now. And he'll take, he, but he'll, he'll roll the red into the other red and stun it into the pocket. That's the shot he'll be trying to do here, Mickey. He was very fortunate there to get the, that kiss. So, Mickey, somebody says here one of the best players he, he, he ever seen that probably never got the recognition and he probably had. never decided that he, he wanted to be better than he was was Marty Lavelle. Would you concur with that? One of the best players? Well, after what I've seen Tuesday night, I would disagree with that, Damien. Yeah, but I mean, everybody's entitled to one bad game, Mickey. One bad game. Yeah, they are. yeah, I'm only sure. And he, is, he, is, he is a... Marty Kraken player, yeah, Marty Kraken player. He, he was the winner of this competition, yes, Harvey, no, Harvey's not going with the goal. He go, he's going to try and snooker in behind here. Harvey never goes for it, does he? Only when it's on, he goes for it. Well, Harvey Lavelle versus Mike Nugent. Mike's going to go for the. Well, he has to go for it here, so he's trying to roll the ball. That's, That's a, a good shot. shot there. Look at that. No, just. Mm. That's all I needed, Mickey. Just a yeah, little, little, a little dink, and it comes. So, what will Harvey do now? Will he go for the reds or will he go for the long red, Mickey? Well, I don't think he can see the long. Can he see the long red? Yeah. Don't think he well, can. No, he's going to touch up again this one. Is pulling action here well <laughs> again? Uh, he's nobody's fool, he knows black, exactly where he's at. going nowhere, you see. He knows <coughs> where he's at. And what's Mike going to do here? Is Mike going to do the same? That's a nice little spin, yeah. So, yeah, but it's back into yeah. it's very, very safe. So, this leaves Harvey with a long shot to the bottom left. Well, Harvey will probably put these two here over the bottom one and run the black in the same pocket where the two reds are. Well, that's what he's looking to do. He's a good long look at him, Mickey. Oh, and he's taking the other shot. Yeah, I don't know. He has to go for the long. I think he was going for the long one, yeah. That's a sweet strike, and the ball has just come back nicely. So, well, I don't know why he'd, he'd probably run the black, or he'd either cross it, or he'd run it down to the bottom peg. Well, he'll just, he'll, he'll just hit a little double dink here and drop the red closest to the pocket in, and then the other red will be sitting sweet, and that'll give him position on the black Mickey mm -hmm. so Harvey you Lavelle. know more the, about this game than you, you let on Damien actually well I have a good man I have a good wing man here and he's letting me so. he, he, he? he, he's <laughs> you're, you're keeping me well informed here Mickey. where is he but I see he's taking the black out there you and go and Marty says good shot good our fella so, yeah. so yeah. Uh, it, was it was a good shot now it's all about position on the black he needs to come out nicely for the black and come down the table a little bit and that's a perfect shot Mickey so well, it's not really because he's going to be bridging over the yellow yeah, hard enough. Perfect, but for perfect. a man of his like look at that pool shot. That's perfect shooting there from Harvey Lavelle. Makes it look perfect all good easy. Finish, good finish, good finish. Well, I can tell you what, Mickey. Uh, Harvey Lavelle wasn't a bad footballer in his time. But I can tell you what, he's a heck of a good pool player. Oh, good player, yeah, good player. But Mickey, what has impressed me here tonight has been the, the, the cue in action of, of all the players. They're all up for it, you see, Jamie. It's a big, 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 big play at stake here tonight. So, uh, Mickey, you, you had a bad game the other night, but uh, you're a legend and uh, great coverage. Uh, That's all I am as a legend. <laughs> <laughs> you're also, uh, <laughs> you know, you're playing. I need, a, I need a, a set of Dennis Taylor glasses. Well, I, I would need a pair of them myself, Mickey. But Kieran Hanovich, you know, when Kieran Hanovich is time to retire. Well, I remember you. Sorry, Kieran. Sorry, Kieran. I remember you when you were saying uh, that um, you were going to psych him out, but uh, Kieran. He, he, he beat me two-one. Yeah, he 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 just had the run of the balls. 
Well, you can beat 2 1 as anybody's game. Yeah. You can beat 2 0 like Cal McCoy. It's a <laughs> white, whitewash. <laughs> or Marty Lavelle. Marty Lavelle, yeah. And Damien Kearney. See and Damien Kearney's on outside the night. Well, he could beat earlier on. Oh, he, he, he could beat two. He went in off the black, apparently, I heard. He was. He was. We were coming down. Jeremy McGuigan gave us a lift out. He was standing outside uh, the Ulster Bank. And he had. He was. He, he actually looked as if he was heading for the canal. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad, Mickey. No, he was going to take money out of the hole in the wall and there was none for him. <laughs> maybe, maybe the bank card said <laughs> empty. <laughs> Are you good, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> well, here we have Mike. Maybe we have Mike Nation Nation coming in now. Slipping a nice red in and another one on the r right hand pocket here. So he just oh. rolled this one in. That's good striking. Again, good pull. Good pull play by Mike. So Mike is down 1 0. So Harvey Lavelle is one up in this game, but Mike is making a strong comeback here in the second game. But he's left it sort of half safe for him, you know. Well, we've been well looked after here. Yeah, like Jim. Maybe. Jim has been very good. Yeah, list. Yeah. Jim has been very good list here tonight. So uh, Jim and he has provided the sandwiches and the. The tea and everything, it was brilliant. Mickey's so well trying tea for you. I'm just I'm just after watching Mickey. Mickey's trying to blow a fiver into the tenor here. <laughs> There's Harvey's filed the red. I'm, trying, I'm looking for fifty P piece. So Harvey Harvey's filed the red there, so he put one in for Mike. So they say hello to Sinead Annis, she's watching us here tonight. Live. She's a great that? Sinead Annis, one of our new counsellors, but she's a Footballer of great renown, but she's watching us here tonight, so uh, hello, Sinead. He's making two shots here. Oh, he has. He broke them all up too. Look. Here we go. This is going to be a crack and finish to this game, Damien, I think. Oh, he's on the... Well, that's a poor enough shot there from Mike. He would have expected that ball to go in. We expect better from that. But again, there's, there's pressure on here, Mike. You know, the, you know, the, the, the lads yeah. can feel it. Or he can take the pressure. I've noticed that he can take the pressure. He's left him safe anyway. So Harvey takes a long, long look. Oh, we switched the table too now, folks. Switched table here. here. We have Tristan and Brian McGill. Tristan taking the black. It's and the boys gonna bounce off the yeah. corner, so. Well, this is going to be a big shot yeah. here now, Mickey. So, what does he do? Does he D what does he do here? He goes for a game. One nil to Christian. One, one nil to Christian Bourne at the minute. Now he's just switched to the second game here, folks. We think Brian McGill is going to. You know that he should put in the middle. I would go for. So we're back to table two where Christian Bourne and Brian McGill and Tristan is winning one nil. So, uh, Brian has a chance here to draw the game but he has three balls to pat and the one on the top no, he's, going, he's going for the snooker he's going for the snooker i would have won for the game here because it's an easy enough snooker to get he out of know, he, he's let him up and down or oh yeah i mean it's an easy enough snooker to get out of and a player of christian's and Cal McCoy. Uh, ability sorry about that sorry, sorry about that, that folks that was uh, an intruder we had so Tristan goes for the, 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 the angle shot to clip the black in, and that looks a, a super shot. shot. That yeah. was a great shot. That's a, lo, 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 he looks a left hand side on that ball. But I think what. what oh, sorry, right hand side. But what Brian should have been doing there, like he, he should have won for the game, Mickey, because you've nothing Twist else to do. Over. Twist it back over there. So we're going back now going to back the other yeah. table. Well, Harvey is playing Mike Nugent. Tristan Bourne now had won uh, 2, two nil. nil. So well done to Tristan. Damien has just taken the glasses out. He's trying to act a young fella there with no glasses all night. <laughs> well, the chosen one, the chosen one, Mickey was called the special woman, now he's the chosen one, and uh, he says he couldn't play a pool with a yard brush. And D Kearney, well, we don't know where D Kearney is. He, we, uh, uh, D Kearney's away looking for uh, a yard brush. A yard brush. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, he's right. He got he got he got a clean sweep, didn't he? He got, he got brushed. Sweep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible, Damien. You walk with that lad. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's terrible for lagging him over like that. Uh, only telling the truth. How did he get end up with that? So, Cahill Phelan will be coming up now, and John McGee. Yeah, the man from White Cross is going to meet the man from McGuigan's now. And I see his brother is there for moral support, both sides. Kevin supporting John, and, and we have to say congratulations. And Shane supporting Cahill. Yeah, and we have to say congratulations to Shane Dennis, of course. Not only is she a new councillor, she is also our new ladies football correspondent on Destination Uri. Lovely. So, uh, Shane has a. Uh, She's a very full diary, so she's going to be a very busy girl. Good. And I can shout there from Harvey. Sorry. Yeah. For bringing the word there, No, 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 that's okay. Keep an eye on this game here. So, and Mike Nugent has Harvey tied up in the bottom corner. Did you see that? So, Harvey. The game will go to the wire, I think. Harvey's having a good old look here and deciding what he's going to do. He's got a snooker. Harvey's always two shots ahead of you. Again. Mm. There's 14 minutes gone in that game. We just seen the referee. Is that clock there. 14 minutes and six seconds. Yeah, we just seen it there. 14 minutes and six seconds. Peter, Peter, Peter. from CWC is referee. Oh, he played a deliberate. Is that a deliberate? So, what happens now, Mickey? There's a lot of debate going on here. So, is this a bit of? So he played. He played a deliberate foul. He played a deliberate foul, but it's not, no, it's not called a deliberate because he sniggered. And Harvey's asking a question here. He's, 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 he's maybe this is a wee bit of uh, what Harvey done the other night. Maybe coming back to yeah. hunt him. The referee's discussing it here. The referee's saying you could go up the table or down the table. It's up to you. And Harvey goes, I, I can't see it. I can't see it. Like, what do you want me to do? There's a fair discussion going on over the table there, Mickey. So what, what's your reading on this one? Yeah, well, my reading is that he what, 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 what has happened here is your man was snookered and he couldn't see the ball, so he just played the deliberate. Okay, so he played a deliberate stroke. Yeah, but it, yeah. So now Harvey can't get playing any of his ball. He can't see. Well, if he could go up the table. But so the only shot for Harvey Lavelle here is up the table and down to hit the red in the bottom right-hand corner. So that's what, that's what it looks to be going to do. No, I think Harvey is on the yellows here, Damien. Oh, he's on the yellows, right? Okay. I mean, Harvey's on the yellows, yeah. I, that tee's too strong here, Mickey. Oh, he's gonna, it looks as if he's going to hit the black here, Mickey. No, oh, that wasn't. That didn't work out the way it's supposed to. Well, I got a wee bit confused. I thought Harvey, Harvey was in the reds, but Harvey was in the yellows. Marty shakes the head and he's... He says he should do this and he should do that, but Mickey's taxing away here. You're not allowed to text and comment here, Mickey, at the same time, but I suppose we'll let you wear that this time of the night. No, I got a I got a text there saying, Mickey, you swore. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, folks. I didn't mean that. <laughs> that was because Jim McQuillan wouldn't take the money for the drink. <laughs> well, Harvey you're allowed, but Harvey's you're in big trouble now. We, we, you're allowed one misdemeanor, one Mickey, misdemeanor. one misdemeanor. Um, Sorry about that, folks. Well, Mike Nugent must be on there. This game is. Oh, the white went down, was it? Yeah, the white. Uh, 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 and the white went down. Did it? No. Oh, no Mickey, white, I, yeah, yeah. There's so. Oh. He's taking this, this game is getting more complicated. So what happened there, Mickey? Why was the ball brought down there then? Because he putted... Uh, he putted off the red, right? Yeah. So then there's a foul stroke, so he had the choice of well, taking a shot. What, what, what has happened there is, and what the situation is now, Harvey has committed a foul stroke and he's given him two shots. Right, okay. But because the ball was sitting here in a bad position, he, t he took the ball up the top end. He hit the ball, yeah. So Mike Nugent now has a uh, he he two has shots, he's free, two table. Shot, free table. So he just hit this. He, he, I, I think he's going to try and break these up. Is it? No, he's not. He's going to know. Oh, oh unbelievable! And he's very, very annoyed with himself. But again, Mickey, I, I would have been going. I would have been going the percentage shot here. I would have been going to hit the red to get the red out. And if it was in the play, then you had a chance. And that would have been the shot that I would have been taking. I 
I just got a text in there, folks, are saying we're doing great here, but sometimes I have to agree more with Damien. But you're, <laughs> I'm only giving my opinion. <laughs> well, Harvey now, Harvey has a chance here. But the two that was unbelievable now, Damien. The two shots and straight down and off by. That was mm. a great shot there. That's a good shot up because there, yeah. it, it brings it brings one of the other yellows into play. But it leaves the Harvey trying to break them all up there, you see. But it leaves the, the the yellow ball beside the red. It's it's pretty safe unless Harvey tries to bring it out now, and this is what he's going to do. I suppose he would probably. Well, this could be a dangerous shot yeah, because yeah, he could, he could, he could uh, That's a good shot, Maggie, because mm -hmm. the red, the Get red. More. Well, look, look, look more. It looks like Harvey's going to win this two 0 yeah, okay, definitely. From from where I'm sitting and from my experience in the game, it's it's all over, Damien. Well, that's a good shot oh now. The, the the yellow into the middle. All over. It's all over. The red, the other yellow into the bottom corner, and then out for the black in the bottom right hand. It looks like Mike Nugent's going to take a bow out tonight in the last eight. But again, Mickey, when you look at these games, Mike had a chance to bring the red into play, and he didn't he do did, it. Yeah, but he, yeah, but he. I know what he was he trying he to do, but he 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 potted Harvey's ball. On the first shot from two shots, um, and he tried to break it, but he went in off him. In two so shots, he had he went straight in off. First shot, he went in off. So that's, that's a good shot, by Harvey. So Harvey should just roll this into the bottom right-hand corner. Ah, sure, that's easy shot. That um, as, uh, well watching, done. I'm watching Marty, the brother here. Marty's going well done, our lad. That's a great. Uh, I, I call it the night, Kieran McMahon and Harvey Lavelle final. Good finish there by Harvey Lavelle. So that's 2 0 for Harvey Lavelle. So well done to Harvey. He beat Mike Nugent 2 0. Did you get that, Sean? Yeah. Touch more than 1 2 0, yeah. Okay, and you're very welcome back. We're waiting on the, well, this, the other game has started, and this is uh, your fella, John McGee, Kevin. All, all brothers in arms, yes, against against Cal Philham, yeah. And and we have uh, we have the chairman here of the pool league, Kevin McGee, a good friend of Destination Yuri. Kevin, uh, exciting times here, live coverage of the pool individuals here tonight, sponsored by Destination Yuri and brought live by Destination Yuri. Absolutely unbelievable. Would have been hurt, unheard of a couple of years ago, but now it's, it's a reality, isn't it? It's a reality, and it's uh, local television brought to you by destination really. that's a good shot well the ball just well if we sucked in a wee bit Kevin that ball would oh uh, yes. slide in so we have Cal Phelan playing oh he's, he's, playing my, he's playing my big brother Peter no John 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 John, John yeah, yeah big John, John yeah. And so it, would, it would be a tight enough game it would be a tight enough game so John McGee and Cal Phelan on table two So somebody says Harvey Lavelle to win any odds in that one, Damien. Well, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey sort of tipped McMahon and Lavelle, depending on what way the draws go, Kevin. It so does, but I tell you, it looks that way. McMahon was absolutely superb. And Harvey carried a wee bit of luck, but yeah. do you know what I mean? He's there, you know, and that's it. You need a wee bit of luck on the night. And, of course, we have John McGee and Cahill Phelan here on table two, the first game. And uh, we're rattling on, Mickey, uh, Kevin. Uh, great, great night's pool here oh, on TJ's. Unbelievable. And I'll tell you what. Cal at the table now, past individual winner too as well, so he knows the score, knows how to win. 
Well, Lukey told me earlier on, get the tank, get the house, get everything on our fella, he's going well. <laughs> well, Lukey will be sleeping in the caravan probably tonight, you know. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, the gone. as the house gone. As the house gone. So there you have it. So, uh, of course, Kevin McGee, the chairman of the, the pool here, is supporting the brother John, and John is playing Cahill Fielding, and Cahill's on the, the table at the moment. And well, that was a naughty shot there from Cahill. So a cheeky shot. But a good one. Yes, it was a cheeky one. So, Cahill Phelan, a good pool player too, Kevin. Oh, oh well, look, all, all good pool players. Well, I'll tell you, I have some tall here tonight, and I'll safely say, you know, you have some of the best that's ever probably played in your year tonight, and yeah, you know, and the same with the big open tournament here, this will prove who is the best. Well, there's no doubt about it, and we're getting texts coming in here all night, Mickey, so, or Kevin, I keep calling you Mickey, because Mickey was well, sitting beside me. Well, I say we look <laughs> like twins, you know what I mean, but I don't know. Well. I think maybe it's the Muppet Show twins. Well, here's, here, here's one for you. Kevin, and you're, and you're not going to believe this, an amazing fact, chalk cues do not contain chalk, did you know that? Well, so we don't know, but you know, we, we're, we're, fooled, we're fooled to our own game, aren't we? <laughs> we chalk it any, I don't know what I mean, so. Well, it's not real chalk, but uh, I'm sure there's a scientific reason for that, and I remember Steve Davis and them checking it out one night in the pool, or in the snooker, and why, you know? So, I would say it's all to do with uh, scientific facts. Well, I'm a great believer is that a school teacher will always chalk a board and never gets kicked. But they don't use chalkboards anymore. They're all whiteboards oh now, well Kevin. Oh, well, uh, back in my day, it was a chalkboard, you know, so. So, Cal Phelan could surprise everybody here tonight, but uh, McGee is coming back and very, very steady. Well, that's a good, oh, that's that's a good keeper there. That's a good keeper there, yeah. But see, John, too, as well. John won the third division last year, won the second division individual this year, you know, so, you know, he's always there and there about it. He has a, he has a squeak. Well, he, he, they're all good players here, Kevin, and what I've been impressed, I've been impressed with the queue and action, every player, I've been impressed with the, how all the players handle the pressure, you know, it's, it's, it's an excellent competition, and it's well organised, it's well run, it's, it's a, a great, great facility. Offer. It's a great, great offer for Poonin, it's a great offer for TGS too as well, you know, because they, they're the multiple venue set up, the only ones can actually do it, you know, so, and that's with the success of the night, that's why the crowds are here tonight here as well, you know, they like this big set up. And they like a tournament finished on the night. Well, look, th there's no doubt about it, and I, and I think it's probably the right thing to do because uh, when you when you look at when you look at the crowd that come here and the atmosphere is buzzing here this evening. Even around the table, so there's no pool, and there's a squad around the table. There is a squad around the place. Somebody says they don't, it's not chocolate; it's only fine abrasive. So uh, again, we have our our amazing fact man in the background letting us know all these facts. Well, I think this first game's over here now at the moment. Cal's sitting pretty here at the moment. Well, there's somebody come back here and says, I'm surprised he wasn't asked uh, to play in all this. He says he's beat all McGuigan's manies of Thursday night, so I don't know who that is, but... Uh, well, that's why he's not here tonight, probably. Well, uh, He never paid his fiver. He says he always let Kevin McGee win, so yeah, I, don't, I, don't well know, I don't know who that is, but if I, I think I might know who it is, but I don't know, so... <laughs> but John McGee and Cal Phelan here well on table this two. First game, this first game's over now. Cal should finish this here. He's a simple putt into the middle. He should go to the corner pocket and then he plays the plant on the two two reds together. I think this is this is the first game over. Yeah, so he put the one sitting here he as the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper. Here, but the goalkeeper. He put the goalkeeper first, then he plays the and plant well on the, the two reds. And the middle, the middle, the middle red down to the bottom. To down to the bottom, yeah. And just sort of again a double dink, dink and. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And the only thing that could go wrong here is that well the two balls go. But it looks, so. good. it looks good. Well, well, he played that to go in the middle. That's yes. for that's for sure. Uh, that's for sure. He's still okay here now. He, he, he can screw back in as long as he takes the white into the middle of the table. He still has the red ball into the middle and the black up into the corner pocket. Well, the fact the tax are coming in here fast and furious this evening, Kevin. Well, of course, that's Big John Retro. You know who that is, Big oh, John? Yeah. So, uh, of course, John, I have your number on my other phone, but uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the coverage here of the live pool sponsored by Destination Uri, brought to you by Destination Uri, and it's live here in TJ's Pool Hall. Well, that's a super strike there by oh Cal yes. Phelan. I never anticipated that ball going to the bottom left. I thought it would have went to the middle, but it's all about position on the black here, yeah. and he's looking. He's probably looking to, pu to put the white ball up 
towards what the top end here. What he could do is he could chip to the side and take the black into the pocket with the cover of the yellow ball this year. It's a nice big pocket for him too as well. It looks unmissable. Well, it's again, he's going to be screwing the ball, the white ball back up the table. I don't think he has to screw anything. I just think it's just a folly weight, folly tree. He just follows through. Well, that's what he's done. He's just followed through that's and he's come he's up. And so that's a super strike. So, that as you said, the, 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 the he just needs to make sure it doesn't tipple the well yellow. I don't, I don't think it will. It's a commentator's eye. It's a nice, nice, easy shot. Well, it looks easy from here, but I know. And look, he looks as if he's booked himself a bedroom in his own house. Well, it's going to be a good strike and it's clean in. So, very great very strike good. there by Cahill Phelan. Well done, young Cahill. Were you in this competition yourself this year, Kevin? Okay, was I going to buy earlier on? Do you know what and I mean? And a bye bye the second time? Ah, bye bye, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's what you want to do is you want to get to the last. Once you get to the last 30 and it's, and it's a one set up venue, you want to be there on the night, you know what I mean? Because great atmosphere and it's great. It's, it can only be good for Pearl, you know what I mean? Well, if you're a pool player, this is where you want to be. The uh, there's no doubt about that, Kevin. Well, above all, everything else, all the games, the thing that they caught. If I had to play the wee bit I would have been here tonight. Like that. you know what I mean? And you know, that's what it's all about. Well, there's, there's no doubt about that. It's 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 rattling on rightly here, and I'm not even sure what time it is, but it is exactly. It's it's five to twelve. Five to twelve. We're getting there. Well, we're getting there. We're we're getting there. We're we're still in the quarterfinal stages. We thought there would be another table operating, but we're still concentrating on McGee and F Phelan. And that looks as if it's, it's our John Breaking now we know he's cube mail away. Come on John, get yourself back in it. So and that's correct, red ball away. Red right. ball away, and there's another one nearly away, so McGee has a chance here. It's a dead game. It, it looks it looks dead because he's he, the red's tied up with the yellow, you know, so it doesn't matter what he should take, he still has the balls the ball's tied up as well. So it's a pretty even Stephen game. Again, you're into the the business end of the competition here, Kevin, and the pressure is immense in the players, but John is looking comfortable. Well, maybe too fine a slice in that one, but And I'll tell you, Kyle could have a chance here. He could have a wee, a wee small chance. Somebody says, Kevin, what was your favourite band? My favourite band? Yeah. Oh, that would be hard to say. I like jo I'd like i be a Joe Dolan fan, you know what I mean? So, with Joe Dolan and the Drifters would be probably my favourite band. Somebody says here was the best city rulers. Oh, I know who that is. Bye bye, baby. I know who that is. <laughs> so... And anybody who remembers the Bay City Rollers has to be very, very old. <laughs> uh, their mummies would have let them out of the house maybe just to buy their, to, to buy their Bay City Roller trousers. Well, there you go. I remember them. I remember them. The, the little tartan trousers. Oh yeah, and the pencil case to match yeah. So there we have it, boy. We're getting a history lesson here tonight. So that person must be at least. Well, I'm only what? I'm 35. My next birthday. They must be about 49. <laughs> <laughs> but we're live here. John McGee versus Cal Phelan, and Cal's going to try and just get a. Well, he was going. He was looking at the the double dunt there between. He really and that's what he's he going to go for. He cover the corner pocket here. That's all he needs. And to just, just a little nice little tip. Uh, well, it didn't and go the way he wanted. No, him. that's not. That's not that good. And I'll tell you what, red balls could have just a wee wee small, a wee outside squeak here. Well, there's two in play up on the top. The two balls on the top of the table, but maybe the one on the left, towards the bottom here, not on the bulk cushion, but one just down. Yeah, that's the one he's going for. He's going to roll that one in. If he holds the white just where that red is, where he's potting. And that should be a good shot because he can play over. That's a good shot, and then the into the right. Ball. So, so uh, again, and then and that leaves him. He, 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 he should be able yellow. to put this red into the bottom right, and that should leave him for the red in the top left. He must put the red ball off the yellow. It takes the yellow out of the road. He leaves him the one under the corner pocket. He leaves him one on the side cushion, and his options up here what he wants to do. Well, he's but having he a good look. Think, he might think like that. Well, he's, that's what he's going to do, and he just needs to roll this one in and take the white with him up to the bulk. And that's exactly what he tries to do. When it falls in. Yeah, but he's only he's closed up his ball.
So we're going to have uh, we're going to talk to Jim here in a second. Jim, just take a hold of that mic there, and uh, you'll be very happy the way things are going here tonight. Uh, super night, yes, some fantastic pool, and some of the big games to come yet. Some of the big games to come yet, and of course uh, a full house here tonight in TJ's pool hall. Full house, yes, super night. Uh, it shows you how popular the pool is in Uri. And of course, Jim, for the first time ever in the history of the pool in Uri, it's going streamed live. It is, yeah, and good to see it. That's Uri Pool needs it. Uh, it's a very, very big league. It went very well all year. Mickey, Kevin, all the boys committee run it very well. And Jim, you've looked after us really well here tonight with sandwiches and cocktail sauces and tea and everybody. The place is buzzing. Yeah, well, that's down to the good lady. And of course, we have to thank the ladies because uh, they always look after everybody and uh, it's always much appreciated. But it has been a great night's entertainment here and we're not even at the semi-final stages yet, Jim. Yeah, uh, we get this game out of the way now and they're going to do the draw and that'll be interesting now to see who's playing who in the semis. So this is this again, this is a tight game here between McGee and Phelan. And yeah. Phelan's winning this one 1-0, one but McGee is now on board. Yeah. So um, it's going to be a tough one. Probably get a wee bit scrappy yet, maybe. But I have a fine facility here, Jim, and I have to say, it's my, my first time here, and I'm very, very impressed with what I see. Uh, to be truthful, uh, it's a wee hidden gem in Uri. Uh, it is. We don't uh, blow our trumpets a lot, but we've been doing very well in the pool league this past few years. So we have, and it's actually very good now to see this going out over, let the people see. We have cracking tables. Tables are very well cured for so they are. Uh, As somebody said earlier on, Jim, they're ironed to perfection. They're playing very well tonight. Yes, I brushed and ironed and the whole lot before all these big competitions, and it's good. The players can get reaction on their cue ball. They can hit a ball down the cushion and pot it, and that's what you need. If you want good players, you have to leave the tables right. For and there's a super strike there from John McGee and Cal Phelan taps the table in appreciation. That's a super, super snooker from uh, John McGee. And uh, John is getting beat 1-0 here by Cal Phelan. But there's a long way to go in this game, Jim. That is a very good shot there and a very hard one to get out of. So... Well, John's under a wee bit of pressure trying to, to get out of this one. That's a super a super snooker by Phelan. Well, he almost got it. He just needs a little kick, and that's a super a super shot. Super shot. Super shot for John McGee. So, again, these games go right down to the wire, right, right yeah, to the well death. It shows you the quality of the pool. And Cal Phelan is on board as we speak. And we're rattling towards, uh, I think, 12 o'clock, or just shortly after 12. <laughs> so we're into the next day. We started yesterday, and we're into today. So <laughs> it shows you how intense these games are. Of course, live on Destination Uri, thanks to Arne and Sean and Marty in the background. And, of course, to Cal McCoy for the initiative that is Destination Uri, bringing news, local news around the world. And Cal Phelan, he'll be trying to just slip this one in. And that's a super strike by Cahill. So, Jim, if we sucked in, that yellow ball would have fell in there. But it still hangs. And it gives John McGee a chance. Well, John McGee goes long for the top left. Oh, well, he missed that one, but it's gone in and off the L and he raises the hand. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I've done a Harvey Lavelle. I've got a fluke. So, that was a, somebody says that's a better shot there than Harvey Lavelle's. Oh, that was. And Kevin McGee's welcome back. Kevin, uh, again, 
your fella raised his hand up and he says, I, I got a wee bit lucky there, but I'll take it. Ah, well, you know what the old saying is, you know, he, I think he played it. Uh, somebody said that Marty Lavelle eat all the grub. Uh, well, he, he ate as much as I did anyway, that's for sure. So, Marty, you've got your fans out there. They must have been seeing you on, on the camera earlier on, but John McGee will just roll this one in. Well, he didn't roll it in. He, no. I think maybe he was trying to get the white in behind the red there, Kevin. Yeah. We have to say good morning to John Martin this time he was in bed. So, John, it's probably after 12 o'clock and it's time for bed. And of course, John will be uh, nailing his colours to the mask on Sunday, that's for sure. So there's a bit of a discussion here about playing two games at the one time here because time's rolling on. I thought they were actually arguing over whose round it was. Well, uh, Mickey says no, Cal says yes, and Jim just shakes the head. Well and Mickey, well, Kevin, you're the chairman, so but Cal's going to have a he's going to snooker here. He's going to try and push the. Well, he he wouldn't get a snooker here, Kevin. I think he can. He can just he would need to be putting off just, the just a little tip and clipping the ball. Oh, and did he get that one? He has a stone wall snooker. Well, well, did he or did he? Well, well it's he, it's it's he, he must have got it. He must have got it. He just must have. This, this as I said, this is unhittable. It was just a little this puff. This is unhittable. So you can't get out of it. Well, he might come off the pocket, no, the edge of the pocket or something there, Kevin. Looking there, I think he's playing the wrong side on the ball. No, I think he's trying to come off the edge of the pocket here. No. So, that's a good shot. That's a super shot. Ah, good shot, John. Good yeah, shot. good shot. I keep chilling the kid. Good shot. He knew exactly Sorry what he was doing. Sorry for being biased, but you've got you to gotta roll with the family. Yeah, you got to roll with the family. There's no doubt about that. But again, this is a tight game, Kevin. And uh, John McGee versus Carl Phelan to get into. Well, if Carl wins this... He's in the semi-final. If John wins this, you go to the, the sudden death. So, so Carl Fielding has a long, long look at uh, the position of the balls. And he'll probably pull uh, this red. He needs to be getting spinning. The, that's a good shot. That's a super shot there by Fielding. Bottom is spinning it. And all he needs now... It's okay. Well, well he'll, he'll go for the one in the corner. And he'll try and roll it in. And then possibly push the long one up the, the, the table but again the yellow ball in front of the two reds is very very safe Kevin <laughs> a lot of time this night. well he's taking a long long hard look at it and John Martin says this reminds him of uh, the Dennis Taylor game away back in the day but he's shown his age but feeling well, he's trying to maybe pull the white in behind the black there, Kevin, from what I could see, but he just maybe put too much on I'll it. Tell you, he could find himself actually in trouble here, because all his John has to do is slide down with the cor over to the, the left corner pocket, put the white onto the red. And put and it in between them. That's what he's doing. He just has to and that's, 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 that's what he's going to do. He's, he's going to he's gonna come off the cushion and try and put the white ball in between the two reds. And that's and exactly what he's doing. too hard. There's well a bit sticking out there of that yellow. Again, it's hard to know, but it's not an it's not an impossible snooker to get out of. No, it's just it's an no. easy enough one. But again, all he needs to be doing is just tipping the ball. I would imagine. Well, what he can do is where he, where he is actually queuing at the moment. He could actually leave the white up there. He, he knocks the yellow ball out, and he leaves himself with a great chance. Leaves our leaves our John with a a very difficult shot. Well, it's 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 hard to see from this angle. If we could get a close up of of that one, we, well, it's too late now, but. He should be able to. He should be able to just get that one, and that's what he's done. But and he's just jawed this in the pocket, and it's going to go it's in. So yes. too heavy. And this game should be over. This should be one each. So of course you're very welcome to live coverage here. We started yesterday and we're into tomorrow here on Destination Series live coverage of uh, the pool here, the pool individual finals. 
in TJ's pool hall, a uh, superb facility in the centre of Newry. So again, that's a great shot. This should be one each. Well, he's still all to do here because it's well a he's, two, he's two shots, and he just play, he just runs the runs the red into the corner pocket. The second the second red up. Well, it, it's it, from the angle we're getting here, Kevin. It's it's he, he may get past that yellow. It's not. I'm not I sure. I have young eyesight. You have young eyesight. Good man. Well, you have a pair of glasses on there, Kevin. Well, so. you know, you sometimes you need two pairs. <laughs> so, uh, John. He's responding well, but he's shaking he the head. He can't get it, Kevin. He no, can't get he it. He can't get up there. So he might have to come in off the behind I the yellow. He, I think he can actually bend the way to but Well, that's what he's going. That's there. what he's going to do here. This would be a super strike here. He's trying to put a bit of swerve on the white ball to get around the yellow, and he done. And that's oh, a great shot, shot, Kevin shot, McGee yeah. or John McGee. And, and I think he, I think this is juking out for him. What a wonderful shot! That was a super. I taught him that shot. Well, there was a lot of uh, swerve on that one. That was a brilliant shot. But again, it's not difficult for players of John's ability and Cahill's ability here. But he just rolls out. Well, he, again, he must He's have been snookered there. Very, very poor shot there. Yeah, puts the, that puts the red ball f uh, safe. If, if, if uh, you know, that wasn't a great shot. Then that was probably a pressure shot there, Kevin. Yeah. You know, so he'll try and maybe get a little bit of side on it. But I would probably just been rolling. Well, that's, that's a, a good shot. shot. That's a good that shot. That's a very, very good shot. I, know, I would have been just maybe rolling the white again, the red there. But that's a super. That is a super shot. So the pressure is now on feeling. He has one. He has one ball. The, the outside le yellow ball there to try and get it into the left yeah. hand pocket. But he needs to be very, very careful because this could leave uh, the game on for John. And I do believe this is probably this is the longest match of the night so far. Well, we had one earlier on at the same table. Uh, Christian Bourne and Brian McGill went very, uh, very long. It was so very long, but now we're, we're into the second game, and now we're into what we're into near enough forty minutes now for the two games so far. Yeah, and we could go into uh, we could be going to the third one. So Cal Phelan, well, he took the two balls out, but this and well, maybe the the little think there on the yellow on the black. Doesn't really. All he has to do is just screw back here and just take the take the white out a wee bit to the black spot. So Kevin needs to be pulling the. That's a good shot. And it's a super shot. So this leaves the black on in the bottom left here, Kevin. So we could be going into the. We're going into the sudden death third game. Yep. But he's. Poor referee. God love him. I think he's lost. A, he's lost a few pounds a bit now. Well, the referees, of course, the referees and all, they take it very serious. That's a good strike. Oh, that is sort of absolutely. Well, it's a bit heavy. He pulled it's a bit heavy, enough. but it would have still the game's still on. So, it's feeling has it all to do here. And I think what Kyle will do here is he'll play the bottom one, the one nearest to the the one nearest to. He play the yellow nearest to the white. He doesn't have to do nothing with the white, or he'll probably just snooker. Oh. A good strike, oh and that's just a little tip. So a good strike there from Cal that's Phelan. That's what you call a dirty shot. <laughs> well, it's a it's a probably a shot that. Well, it's not a difficult snooker to get out of, Kevin. So no, well he's, a, he's a three cushion three cushion escape here. And he, he oh, he's, he's missed it. So missed it. oh, well, just by a hair's breath again. And with Cal's experience, he should he should finish with two shots. He but still, it's, it's it's still a, it's a tough task ahead of him. I know he's two shots, but there's still two balls, and they're not they're not sitting in a very good position. You know, they're okay, they're out in the table, but they're nowhere near pockets. Sorry, so and he's the one up beside the he's the one up beside the deep ball. He can afford to actually use two shots to put this into the corner pocket. So that's what he's going to do, Kevin. He's just going to roll. He's just going to roll that. Well, he oh hit that strong. Oh that's a super, a super shot. That's a pressure shot, and he just hit that with. He's still two shots, and it looks as if it's a uh, story over. Well, Cal Fiume. Uh, what amazes me here, Kevin, is the the, the striking of of the the ball. These players. 
I mean, we, we, we see this on television and we think, hi, these guys are brilliant. We're looking at it here on television tonight. And absolutely like super. Super, super well finish there by Cal Phil. Absolutely super. Well done, Cal. And John, you've not... You lost nothing to the kid. You've done your best. Yeah, well, it was a, gr a great finish there. And well yeah. done to Cal Phelan. And, of course, early on, look, he says to me, you get the house on Cal. I'm still well, lo I'm looking good here. Well, I'll tell you Kevin. what, I think, I think he's actually back in now to the living room now at the moment. <laughs> so but I wouldn't put the house on. Well, he, 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 he went well there, so... Well, we don't want, we're not going for a shutdown yet. 